We'll still do cozy mode. Like I said, my light is still out of commission. Uh, so hopefully this will be enough light. <laughs> I just need to open a Word document again, right? That's the secret. Word document. <laughs> Honestly, I could just like pop one up and have it block part of my screen. Nah, I'll worry about it later. It's fine. Did realize this is out of order, though. And there's definitely a bug up in my hair. I can feel it. Something's tickling me and I don't appreciate it. Alrighty. So this day just keeps getting weirder and weirder. Whew, alrighty. Nothing yet alas, but hey, at least it died after you got all your grad school work done and you're finished and finished with the degrees. Let's go! I didn't know that. Congratulations, Hallie. So the computer was literally just like, I gotta wait, gotta wait, and die. So at least it was working in your favor, sort of. Like I wish it hadn't died at all. All right, let's start with some nice one evidence runs. So, so like, ooh, starting sanity 0% though, that's kind of fun. We can probably check do that. Do we want fast ghosts? <laughs> I just want to have fun now. I just want to goof around. But yeah, let's do one evidence. Fingerprint duration, 60 seconds. That's fine. Grace period, two seconds is good. Activity level high. Event frequency high. Changing favorite room. Do we want that on low? Yeah, let's go ahead and do low for that because we will have one evidence. So we could still do a Gorio check with dots. So that's good. Roaming frequency. I also want that to be low just because I'm not in the mood to chase ghosts around the map. So computer was like, my work here is finished. <laughs> Rip. Guess I'll die. <sighs> That's so unfortunate. Um, let's just start with normal ghost speed, speed and then we might bump up to faster later on. Because uh, on Friday, I'm planning on doing high multiplier runs and it's been a long time since we've done that. So we need to get used to fast ghosts again. Uh, but for now, let's just start with this. Do a 5.2... Custom multiplier. We do have sanity pill restoration, but we'll start at 0% sanity, so we will get hunted right off the bat. Okay. If you end up having to buy a new one, new laptop, <clears throat> at least it's at least not the worst time of year either with some back to school deals. Also fair. Then you can get like nice big beefy laptop if you can afford it. Those things are not cheap though. We ve. We got Donald Belfield. Uh, you guys don't have audio yet. Hang on. I almost forgot, but there you guys go. Now you should have it. Let me know if I need to adjust anything, if I'm talking too loudly, like I do. But anyways, anyways, one year for you to go, eagerly waiting your masters to end. You got this, Bangla, good, good luck, my friend. We may extend the metaphor. This type of Phasmo is a nice, comfy, warm bath, so at least we we're keeping with the theme. It's true, exactly, exactly. Good God. You hate beefy laptops carrying one daily to uni becomes a gym workout that is fair that is fair when i was in uni i definitely had just like a little tiny uh chromebook i'm sorry nevers if I, that triggers you i did have a chromebook and it was really nice because it was just super small easy to carry uh how do you play this game i forgot not alienware level at least Get a good solid gaming laptop because you really need the CPU and GPU horsepower. I was like, yeah, I actually have an Alienware like computer and it's actually pretty good. I do like Alienware, but yeah, they tend to be huge. Like mine's not a laptop, it's a full on desktop one. So uh, how do you, seriously, how do you play this game? I'm so distracted. It's been such a weird day. The vibe, like it's just, a, it's not, it's one of those days where like the vibes are just off, you know? Hopefully that changes. Like, this is not a great start to the week, but hopefully things get better. We just gotta think positively. Just remember that what you put out is usually what you get back. So there will be justice for all the bad going on, hopefully, question mark. <laughs> I've heard good stuff about Alienware. It's more the 2K plus price point that makes you choke, right? They're super expensive. That was actually, that was my first um, streaming PC. That's why I spent a lot on getting an Alienware, because they're good, but expensive, for sure. Why am I not being hunted? We're at 0% sanity, so we should be getting hunted. It already turned off the breaker. Oh. Oh. It's Monday, to be honest. But this one's a weird Monday. I tell ya. I tell ya. Alright, but we already know it cannot be a gin since it already turned off the breaker. Oh, here we go. We do have a hiding spot down here, so I can come... hide after it comes down here, maybe? can kind of hear it. I think it's far enough away that I might be able to pop up here. There we go. Okay, sounds normal speed. Oh, is my voice chat still absolutely bugged? We need to try, we need to test it. I don't know if my voice chat is going to be working again. So, yokai test might be a pain in the ass. 
Come here, little ghosty. Oh, hunts over. I didn't even see it at all. Uh, cause yeah, I I don't know if anyone else is having the same issue with me, but ever since the the latest update where they changed things with, with the voice chat, my my voice recognition does not work at all. Like I've tried everything to get it working again, and it just won't. I don't know what the hell they broke, but I'm having so many problems. But let's actually switch this back to. Uh, let's try Windows first, and then we'll try Vosk. If that doesn't work, make sure I'm actually on the correct microphone. There we go. Okay. Hello, hello, hello. Can you come here, please? Excuse me. Are you a ghost? Oh, I think it's coming. <gasps> oh, that's a good sign. Maybe my voice chat is actually working today. Hi there, ghosty. Definitely getting faster in line of sight. Wait, are you an Oni? Oh, you're such an Oni. Look at that. You see how visible it is? Like, it is definitely more visible than it is invisible, so it's got to be an Oni. Because both uh, Onis and Diogens have that ability where they're more visible during hunts than other ghosts. Oh, hi. This, is this a ghost? Right. Hey, so who was making the joke last week after we did our challenge run about no journal? There, you someone said she's gonna forget to change it back to the normal one, and um, I did. Uh, my my journal is still uh, bound to zero. <laughs> oh, I did it! Y'all called it, and I did it. There we go. I don't remember who made the joke, but you're absolutely right. Mason, it's good to see you. How are you? So you're saying the universe matches energy? I hope so. Wait, matches? Question mark. What about matches? <laughs> Anyways, I'm pretty sure this, this is either Oni or a Mimic mimicking an Oni. So we definitely want to get hunted one more time. I'm going to go ahead and take in my EMF. Checking settings mid game is such a pro gamer move. You're in awe. <gasps> I have died, though, doing that before. So be, you, you know, be careful. Be careful. So you get what you put out. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. I know what you're talking about, Nevers. It's just the word matches triggered me. <laughs> All right. Let's 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 confirm that it is, in fact, an Oni. Come here, Mr. Ghosty. Still sounds normal speed. Come here, little ghosty. Yeah, that's still a noni. Look at how visible he is. All right, Mr. Ghosty, I'm gonna need you to go away now. No. Thank you. All right, so definitely Oni. Don't even need to collect any evidence because we do have one evidence turned on. Oh, jeez, Louise. You're doing good. Haven't been able to watch my streams in so long. It's awesome to watch me do some Phasmo. I'm glad. I'm glad you can come and catch us. I'm doing all right. It's been a weird start to the week already, but I'm hanging in there. <laughs> Wait, what What about that? I shouldn't drop it? You, you say I shouldn't drop it? Should we try to go for perfect games? We still need motion sensor. We can definitely take our sanity pills now. Uh, so we can go and get some photos, get a picture of that bone so we can get a perfect game. Um, my game audio is actually a little bit too quiet for me. I need to be able to hear the ghost. Nice to hear the ghost being spoken to like a naughty pet. <laughs> Is that what I do? I, it's exactly what I do. It's the same way I talk to Yoshi when he's being bad. <gasps> Yoshi was very bad today. Little dude made a prison break. So like we've definitely been training him that he's not allowed to go like through our front door unless we give him the command to go. Uh, today he did not listen and took out, went off sprinting out the front door. Thankfully, he only ran down the steps turned back to look at me to see if I was coming and I was smart enough not to chase after him. And instead I grabbed his favorite toy and waved it in the air so he came running back up. But I was like, Jesus, oh, my heart. Like it scared the living crap out of me. Ugh. So we still got a lot of training we gotta do. Hello there. I don't know what room you're in, so I'm just gonna place some salt here. I just heard the the phone ring. Was that this phone? I'm gonna guess it's this phone. Was I right? Yes. Three-star interaction. So it sounds like it's either gonna be this room or the bathroom. It could be either one though, since we've had a couple interactions in both of those areas. Uh, okay, breaker's still on, so let's get some lights on so I don't lose sanity. Uh, I need motion sensor though, so let's go grab motion sensor. 
going to be looking for that lighter later, you know it. I mean, you're probably not wrong. <laughs> I'm very forgetful. It's fine. Let's see. Let's grab motion sensor. That'll be nice and easy to get. Um, another good way to test for Oni, if you don't want to get hunted, is to get hit by a ghost event. Like, note what your sanity is at and get hit by a ghost event. If your sanity only drops by around 10%, then it's probably not an Oni. If it drops by 20%, it's definitely an Oni. Um, I say probably because there was a bug for a while that was actually causing one specific ghost event of the Onis to not drop the full 20%, but they claimed they fixed that. Um, but you know what I say about them claiming to fix things. Okay, I think it is this room. It seems to be interacting more with things in here. So let's go ahead. Crap, I need my lighter. <laughs> At least I remember where I dropped it. All right. At least I got that going for me. Let's quickly grab that, because I would like to get some nice uh, candle blowouts. Do we already get motion sensor? Not yet. Okay, what else can we do to... We could just throw down a whole bunch of salt and get interaction photos that way, but I'm not going to do that. I'll, I'll get a couple photos off of the candle, but let's try to make this a little bit of a challenge and try to get a variety of photos if we can. Let's also see what cursed possession we have. Um, I don't have a... Where's my EMF? There you are. Let's have an EMF with us. We can see what's being interacted with. Hello, Mr. Ghosty. Could you, could you possibly go through my motion sensor, please, and thank you? Okay, I don't know what you just interacted with, but that's cool. Let's go ahead and get a picture of the bone while I... Before I forget about it. I don't have a camera. Fun fact, it's kind of hard to take pictures if you don't have a camera. Hmm. All right. Who no, knew? No. Well, let's get a picture of the bone, because you do need a bone for a perfect game, unfortunately. My biggest complaint about Phasmo, as of... Actually, no, biggest complaint about Phasmo is all the bugs. Second biggest complaint is the bone being required for a perfect game. Mm, let's see. So it was no Ouija board, no summoning circle, no monkey paw. Is it... Ter oh, ooh, actually, did I even have a cursed possession turned on? I don't remember if we did on this multiplier or not. I probably should have checked that. So we might not have a cursed possession turned on, but we'll go ahead and check anyways. Not Mr. Wiggles. Bone really should just be a bonus, especially on large maps. Absolutely. It doesn't even tie in. Like, it's a ghost. Why would it have a bone? <laughs> Why does the ghost have a boner? These are the questions I have. All right, so I actually don't think I have a cursed possession turned on. Uh, so whoopsies. Maybe we'll turn one of those on because they're fun to mess with. We definitely just got motion sensor. Uh, did I take a picture of the salt? No, not yet. Okay. Ooh, interaction. Let's get that. Hey, look! Ghost is like, you are stinky. Take a bath. Now this is the bathhouse. Enjoy. Oh, another door touch. Let's go ahead and grab that. Let me relight this, because I don't actually know when that got blown out. Lots of interactions. Holy crap. Let's make sure all of these are counting properly. So luckily, uh, if you haven't seen the new update, you can now actually delete two photos per investigation as long as they are not three-star photos. Oh, no, that was just rude. I was going to say, oh, I can get a ghost photo. So that does make it really nice for ghost photos, because then if you try to take a ghost photo and you get, like, gypped and it doesn't count properly, you can actually delete it and try again. If you have one of those annoying photos where it should have been an interaction and it just doesn't count, it's like, yeah, 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 delete photos right there. Two times per investigation, it's really nice. So it makes... Like, because you get a lot of bugs with the photo priority system, so now you can kind of combat against that, and it's really nice. Uh, have you gone through this salt pile yet? No? Is that this door? Yeah, it was that door. I just didn't see it move at all, but that was two interactions. So, boom, there we go. That should be... Oh, you little bitch! See? See? Got it? Please don't... It hadn't deleted the photo yet because I hadn't hit the check mark. <laughs> that would have been a perfect ghost photo. You sucker. But now I've been hit by two ghost events for sure. So if we go back and look at my sanity, I should be around 60%. And there you have it. So 20% sanity drain per ghost event. So you got to be careful with Onis because they can drain your sanity very quickly. The amount of times you and your friends forget about the bone because you got too caught up in ghost evidence stuff is crazy. I was like, yeah, it's so weird. Thank God it was 
required uh, for a, or it wasn't required for the apoc. That's fair, because that would have sucked. All right, can I please get another ghost photo? Uh, you know what? It just threw this. I'll just get that photo and leave. Bye. What is happening? What is actually happening? We just saw the ghost throw that. Excuse me. Everything's busted. <laughs> and Rip is right, Seba. Rip is right. What is happening? Oy vey. You, you like to call it the ball touching event? Mm, that's a good name for it. I like that. I like that. <laughs> Oy vey. I just want a perfect game and I want to go, please. Okay, another, and if this doesn't count, I'm going to cry. There we go. All right, that was close to us just getting screwed over. Also, very important news. I hear thunder outside my window, so this just got even cozier. Let's freaking go. I should have made some tea. Mm -hmm. Tea would be good. All right, and I got Oni down, because it should be an Oni. I'm pretty sure, because we've gotten tons of ghosts. Oh, no, I'm definitely no, because uh, every time we got hit by a ghost vent, we lost 20% sanity, so that is confirmation if you're unsure of, like, whether or not it was Oni blink during a hunt. But there we go. I'm actually getting really good at noticing the Oni blink during hunts. That used to be, like, the, the thing I struggled with the most, so I'm glad I'm getting some extra practice with that. Let's go. Look at all that money. Look at all that money. Um, should we actually do random maps? I think we should do random maps. But first things first, let me actually turn on cursed possessions. Because, yeah, I do not have those, I think. Where is it? Contract. I definitely want a cursed possession. Yeah, there we go. So let's save that. Obviously, storms don't exist, but the cloud farts in the sky are cozy. Exactly. Exactly. That sky shrimp likes to eat a lot of beans. It farts a lot. We're just gonna hit random and let's see what happens. So again, we're all... Oh, you know, I should have expected it. On a day like today, I should have known the first map would be my least favorite on random. I should have known. But anyways, uh, we were playing with one evidence turned on, but we are starting with 0% sanity, so we will get hunted right off the bat. My game's frozen. Whoa, there we go. All right, we're back at online. Here we go. Who do we have? Robin Johnson, we need crucifix, EMF, and uh, incense. Let's go ahead and see if we can find this ghost. So luckily, my favorite way to play on high school is to get hunted first because it's easy. that's just the easiest way to find the ghost on this map. Just because there's so little like things for the ghost to interact with, it can be very difficult to find them. But what cursed possession do we have? Oh, it's music box, gross. All right, well, we could potentially use, oh, is that? Oh my God, Yoshi. Oh, that little dog can howl. Scared the living crap out of me. I bet you anything that was our HelloFresh getting delivered. <laughs> All right, why am I not being hunted? Yoshi, no bark. Hello? Is this place even haunted? Did I go to the wrong school? Oh, nope, just kidding. Oh, it's actually nearby. Sounds normal speed. Oh, oh God, it's a child. Go back this way, Where, where'd you go? Okay, I don't think that's Oni Blank. Come back this way. Yeah, I don't think that's Oni Blank this time. Let's quickly hide. Uh, start this mud timer, so if it hunts again before three minutes is, has passed, uh, it cannot be a spirit. If it hunts, after a minute, but before a minute and a half has passed, is a demon. The hunt. No, the hunt's still going. But definitely sounds normal speeds. We're not looking at any fast ghosts. Since we are at 0% sanity, I'm going to be fast as well. Didn't get faster with my flashlight, so not a Raiju. Definitely not a Revenant. Breaker was on and did not have a huge speed up as soon as it saw, so definitely not a Jin. Was not Phantom Blink. Was an Oni Blink. Uh, Hantu wouldn't have been getting faster in line of sight. Don't think it sounded slightly fast or slightly slow, so probably not the twins. Eh, I'm stuck on a chair. Leave it. Let's go out this direction and get some lights on over here. Where did it actually start hunting from? I couldn't even tell. 
of sanity is just the resistance of the character to all these ball touching events. The hunt is when the ghost finally comes in and it uh, gives you such a good relief that you instantly faint out. Oh, Jesus. No. <laughs> no. The ghost is sweet. He just wants a hug. This life. Take the tablet from your boyfriend, letting him massage your feet and eating your sweets. Oh, that sounds lovely. Thank you so much for being here, uh, Marcel. It was great to have you. And I hope I hope this nice uh, nice feet rubs. Let's see. I'd go for a foot rub. What am I grabbing? Let's go ahead and grab. Do I want both smudges? Yeah, let's go ahead and grab two more smudges again because I want to kind of look at it for longer during the hunt. I can also grab one more item. What would I like? Let's grab some salt so we can do like an immediate wraith check. That would be a different type of game, right? Though apparently, you can find some weird ass shit going down in like the multiplayer lobbies where apparently there's some kind of phasmo kink out there. Like, I guess no judgment, but like if I went into a multiplayer lobby and everyone was getting like turned on by ghost activity, I would run away screaming. That's not my kink. <laughs> Here, ghosty, ghosty. Oh, unfortunately the light for this hallway is all the way down there. Crap. Uh, maybe... I'll just turn on this light. I have no idea what that noise was. I heard like a weird clicking sound in my apartment. Uh, maybe I might have time. It's still not hunting yet, so that's good. Oh, yes it is. Crap. Okay, so it definitely... Oh! Actually, if I was a little bit delayed... There you are. Hi, where are you coming from? Yeah, if I was a little bit delayed, that actually could have been three minutes. It'll never find me. But I was try actually trying to hear at the very, very start of that. Did that actually sound a little bit slow? What if it is a slow twin that just got faster in line of sight last hunt and I just didn't notice? I couldn't actually, I could not tell. It was too far away. Okay, hunt's over. Uh, so again, we smudged it, but I also, again, was kind of delayed in starting that smudge timer. Let me get my flashlight this time so I can actually see a little bit better. If I could open this door, that'd be great. Ah, beautiful sunrise. Sunrise weather is still like my favorite weather. Actually, no, fog's pretty cool too, just because it makes it really spooky. The sunrise weather is just like really pretty, but like it doesn't fit with a ghost hunting game. Can we actually talk about that? <laughs> when they were like, what kind of weather should we add to our spooky ghost hunting game? And someone's like, cozy sunrise. <laughs> like I'm totally here for it, but it does not make sense. I'm not gonna lie. Where are you actually? Because are you coming from upstairs or are you coming from over this direction? Because it might be that room. I'm thinking it's probably either here, maybe the bathroom. Let's see, can I see my breath in here at all? Oh, nope, it is definitely coming from upstairs and it's definitely not a spirit. Nah, that's normal speed. All right, we're good. Hi there, ghosty. Can you do some shape-shifting for me? No, you're gonna be a little jerk about it? Come on, shape-shift. Be an obake. All right. No shape-shifting yet, but it could still technically be an obake because the obake is only guaranteed to shape-shift at least once per hunt. Okay, I was getting kind of nervous that it was coming straight for me, but we're okay. Because there's just a chance that it shapeshifted. Whoa, the hunt's not over. One time while we were not watching and we just got very unlucky. So, but I think we are at the point where we definitely want to go and take our sanity pills now and go find our one evidence. Now that we know the ghost is coming from upstairs, we have a definite idea of wh which area it's in. 
We're out of smudge sticks now, and I didn't notice anything special about it from the hunts. It did not step in any of my salt piles. Did it ever actually walk straight through this? Is it just a wraith? Maybe it's just a wraith. You can definitely go and uh, confirm by putting down salt in its definite room. Because that's, that's kind of suspicious, because I'm pretty sure it went straight down that hallway. There is just a chance that it did not step in that because of how wide the hallway is, but let's go and confirm. Can also carry around an EMF, and if we get a random EMF two or EMF five, and there were no interactions around us, that could be a very good sign that the wraith just teleported to us. So we can definitely do that. But either way, let's definitely take our sandy pills for now. Bring this back up, because we're definitely at a stage where I think we're just gonna have to go and find one piece of evidence, and then do some other ghost tests that don't revolve around the the hunts. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. I'm trying to think. Can we tell anything else about these ghosties? No. I don't think it sounded quiet at all, so probably not the miling. Technically, it didn't ever change behavior during the hunt, as far as I'm aware, unless it was slightly slow that one hunt. I'm, I'm not sure, though, because like I was having a hard time hearing it because of how far away it was. So we definitely don't want to rule out Mimic yet. But let's go ahead and take in EMF, thermometer... Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take in my headlamp so I have a little bit of extra light even when I'm carrying three other items. Mm, and we'll do this to look for fingerprints because an Obake would be guaranteed to have fingerprints. We'll definitely want to look for that. And hey, Robin, welcome on in. How are you today? Oh, shoot. I didn't bring any water with me. I think I left my water bottle in my fridge. I should probably go get that at some point. Do we need a ghost photo at all? Oh, no, we don't. We just need to prevent it from hunting with a crucifix. Okay, that's cool. So luckily, we do have ghost roaming and changing favorite rooms set to low, so the likelihood of this ghost changing rooms while doing this horrendous map is pretty low, so that's good. Let's get some more lights on. And so, uh, so far, it hasn't turned off the breaker at all, which doesn't tell us luck, so we already know it's not a gin. Did I mark that off yet? Yeah, I did. Because it definitely was not getting faster. Did you just turn the... No, that's just the weird light. I hate that these two things, like these feel so backwards, like this light should turn on this hallway or switch, I guess I should say. And this switch should turn on over there, but it's backwards. And I always forget and it always confuses me. All right, which room are you actually in my little ghosty friend? Cause it sounded like you started back over from this direction. Oh yeah, I think it's in the bathroom up here. I hear dirty water, let's go. Ooh yeah, a whole bunch of interactions. Let's quickly look for fingies. All right, no fingerprints, so probably not an Obake based on that. Did I bring up a photo camera? I did not. That's okay. Let's see if we have freezing temps. Doing well. You... You... Does that say... Died that list? Sorry, I'm assuming that's a typo. You, I, you did that list and started to learn your own tips and tricks? Is, is that what that's supposed to say? <clears throat> Downloaded. Oh, uh, oh. Dude, was it even close? <laughs> okay, you downloaded that list and started to learn your own tips and tricks. Nice. All right, so far, no freezing temps. If it ever goes be below one degree Celsius, that means you will end up having freezing temps because normal ghosts will not put the rooms below one degree. Oh, we're right, right at one, though, but that is not a guarantee that you'll get freezing. It's got to be below one degree Celsius. So I think it's probably not gonna be a freezing ghost. Let's go grab some more equipment. Uh, did I, oh no, I did not rule out spirit. So we know it can't be spirit because it did hunt before three minutes had passed after I smudged it. So I can rule that out. Uh, do I have anything else down here? Nah, see, yeah, I didn't bring in a photo camera yet. So let's go grab a photo camera so we can start loading up on pictures. Probably won't get a perfect game just because I'm not gonna spend time running around looking for the bone on this stupid map, but hey, filling up with photos will get us some extra cash if we want it. Uh, we already know it's not a phantom though, so taking photos of the ghost won't help us ID it at all. So let's go, let's see, what else can we do? All right, I was gonna go take it, like so far it doesn't feel like it's ever roamed to us or teleport to us, but let's go ahead and take in more salt just to confirm whether or not it's a wraith. Uh, I need to go get a photo camera down so we can look for ghost orbs. Let's also grab the photo camera and we'll try... Next up, we'll grab uh, the these three things. 
Let's see. It hasn't done any ghost events yet, but we are still pretty high sanity, so I should probably let myself drop at least a little bit so we can increase the chances of activity. Because this could still be a shade. Because we are at 0% sanity, so the shade will act basically like any other ghost aside from doing less interactions uh, while you're in the same room as it and not being able to hunt from the same room as you. Uh, but other than that, activity-wise, it would be the same as any other ghost where you're at 0% sanity. Hey, Astral, welcome on in. How are you today? Thank you so much for the 50 biddies. I appreciate it. All right, let's see if we got ghosty orbs. Because obviously a mimic will always have ghost orbs. It'll be fake evidence, though. Okay, so far I'm not seeing any orbies. Let's check all the stalls just in case they're hidden in here somewhere. Okay. No Orbeez as far as I can tell. I'm assuming this is still the ghost's favorite room, right? Still see my breath. Still touching things here. Let's go do a double check for fingerprints because Obake does have a chance to not leave fingerprints behind sometimes when it touches things, but I'm still not seeing any fingerprints, so I think we're good to rule out Obake because that is guaranteed to have fingerprints as its one evidence. Let's get the lights on. See if it's like, if it gets pissed off that the lights are on because that could mean it's a mare. Let's get, oh. That'll be an interaction and a dirty water photo. Let's go. So I've got three dirty waters, one interaction. Nice. Okay, but shush. Shushy. I'm assuming shades can still turn on faucets when they're, you're in the same room as them. Because a, a shade definitely cannot do ghost writing. It can't blow out candles. Um can't throw I items while in the same room as you, but I don't know about... It could still do door touches for sure, but I don't know about water and faucets, so that's kind of interesting to think about. Okay, touch that through the wall. We can go get photos off of that dirty water. So yeah, maybe that, I wonder if that's something we can possibly test. I want to... Oh, holy crap, it really loves dirty water. Holy crap, guys. Guys, Dirty Water is one of the most um, valuable photos in the game. I'm going to be freaking loaded. Like, look at this madness. So you can only take one Dirty Water photo per faucet. So even if you turn it off and the ghost turns it back on, it'll only count as an interaction again if you take it within that first 20 seconds. But holy crap. Dirty Water everywhere. <laughs> That's amazing. Okay, so far, it doesn't seem like it cares that the water is on, or the lights are on, not the water. The ghost just wants a sink bath, apparently. Apparently. Okay, so far, no sign of EMF5. Let's go ahead and grab our video, or not our video camera, we already have that. Our dots, our ghost writing book, and our spirit box, so we can test for that as well. Why would a ghost like a bathroom? Hey, even ghosts gotta take a dookie. It's just too peaceful out here. I love the sound of the crickets, too. That's, like, my favorite thing about summertime is crickets. I love listening to crickets at night, especially when there's, like, a full moon. Ooh, and tonight's supposed to be, like, really cool because it's, like, a super blood moon or something like that. I can't remember exactly what it was called. That'll be fun. You're definitely gonna go look at that. And you gotta go. You gotta go. Exactly. Exactly. How much could you sell ghost bath water on the internet? Can you imagine, like, going on Craigslist and they're like, I have this dirty water that was definitely created by a ghost. Enjoy. That'll be a thousand dollars. When in fact it's just, like, shit water. Like, oh, that'd be gross. The sad part is somebody would buy it. Somebody would fall for it. I went past the stairs. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah. I actually watched uh, Beetlejuice for the first time over the weekend because I'd never seen it before. And with the, the new one coming out, I was like, ah, I might as well like get on board for that. So I watched that and it was definitely not what I expected it to be. That's for sure. Let's see. Put this down, see if we get ghost riding. Let's try this. Where are you? 
Where are you? Oh yes, it is working. Nice. Okay, are you here? Where are you? Can you give me a sign? Where are you? Are you near? Are you far? Can you give us a sign? Where are you? Are you near? Are you far? Can you give us a sign? Where are you? Are you near? Are you far? Oh god. Beautiful timing. Beautiful. Pink thank you so much for the 200 biddies. People still pay for horoscopes, so it's possible. Absolutely. Anything's possible on the internet. Oh! I did not see you fucker. Two-star interaction, delete that nonsense. Nope. <laughs> so that's why I always say ghost photos are the most risky because stuff like that can happen. But, oh wait, actually, let me try this one more time. Where are you? Excuse me. Where are you? Okay, it's probably not gonna be a uh, spirit box then. Looks like we got some more dirty water. Oh my God, all of the sinks are full. Holy shit. Which one have I not taken a photo of? Because I definitely did... Oh, I don't remember which one. I'm not going to risk it. I don't want to accidentally take a dirty water photo that I already took. So far, I haven't seen dots at all, but it could be a Gorio. So the only way to see Gorio dots would, would be to stand outside of the ghost room and look through a camera. And so if you see the dots only on the camera and not with your naked eye, you know it's Gorio dots. It's like you can delete some photos. So it's a, a limit of two per investigation. And it has it's to be uh, photos brain, that are not three star. Am I the toilet bowl champion? Absolutely. I use the restroom so many times that I have my own special trophy for doing it. It's great. And hey, Mystic, welcome on in. Congratulations on that brain cell. Use it wisely. How are you today? So far, I'm not seeing dots at all either, though. So what evidence are we not getting? Let's go ahead and put this back in its spot. Um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and freeze this so it's facing that direction, because that's kind of our largest area. You're good? I'm glad to hear that. I'm doing all right. It's been a little bit of a day so far, unfortunately. I didn't freeze it. No, come back. All right, close enough. What I'm hanging in there, having, having a good time doing some ghost hunting. Um, what else? Have we, what is it? Is, 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 what else have we, have we checked? I can't talk. <laughs> what else have we not looked for? So far, no freezing temps. We're still touching the door. Still no sign of uh, fingerprints, right? Yep, definitely not. Hmm. Wasn't given a spirit box. I didn't see any ghost orbs. Let's go ahead and go back to the van for a second. Why? Uh, my bike got stolen over the weekend. So I'm kind of in a funk because of that. And then I'm just not feeling like 100% healthy-ish. Like I'm not sick, but I'm not great either. Like I'm still feeling some effects from being sick a couple weeks ago, unfortunately. So that's just why. Nothing too bad aside from, well, the bike getting stolen is not great, but it's all right. <laughs> Right now I'm just having like my throat is being super phlegmy because allergy season is in like full swing for me again. And I'm like, no, I'm not ready for it. Like, oh yeah, I forgot to take an allergy pill before streaming. Whoopsies, definitely should have done that. My nasal spray. What else do we need? Crucifix. Let's go ahead and grab crucifixes then. Uh, we can check the camera from here as well. See if we see anything now because maybe ghost orbs just hadn't shown up yet. I'm pretty sure this should be the favorite room because this, this is where we're getting the most activity and this is where we also have our cold spot. So if we had ghost orbs, I would assume they would show up in this room, but we should probably also check adjoining rooms just in case this is actually not the ghost favorite room. Aw, oh, thanks, Mystic. I appreciate it. But still, as far as I can tell, no sign of dots, no sign of ghost orbs. Jeez Louise, what is it going to give us? Is it just like taking forever to get uh, ghost riding? That's a possibility for sure. I would assume we don't have EMF 5 because we've had a lot of interactions and none of them have given off EMF 5 yet. So I would hope we would have seen EMF 5 by now. 
But, hmm, what are you not giving us, Ghosty? Because we do have one evidence turned on. This ghost is being very stubborn. Are Gorio Dot still broken? They said they fixed them in the latest patch notes, but I don't trust patch notes anymore. Because, <laughs> yeah, I think we, we've checked for everything else, haven't we? Let's go ahead and take in a candle then, because then uh, if it does blow out the candle at all while we're standing in the same room as it, we know it can't be a shade. Um, yeah, I'll just go ahead and leave my flashlight here. That's fine. Do I still have my lighter on me? I do not. I threw it down somewhere. Who knows where? So let's just grab another one. See, yeah, I think door the stall touches, and I want to assume shades can still turn on faucets, but I don't know that for sure. Because that was never included in patch notes when they made the changes to the shade recently, where it now can no longer uh, blow out candles or write in the book while you're in the same room as it, but they didn't say anything about faucets, so... Yep, we've already used up all of our smudge sticks. So hopefully we don't get hunted here. It doesn't feel super aggressive, so it's probably not a demon. You could do matches, but you don't want to be too predictable. Exactly, you gotta keep me on my toes. Okay, still touching the stalls here. Uh, still no sign of EMF-5, but let's go ahead and throw this down. So if it blows out this candle three times and then tries to hunt, could be a very good sign that it's actually an Onryo. Um, but like I said, I'm going to go ahead and check around in the surrounding areas for orbs just in case this is actually not the ghost favorite room. Because that could happen. We just get a lot of activity, especially... Wait, hasn't it stepped in my salt yet? I actually haven't looked. What if it's just a wraith? Uh, it was never in the bathroom. It's just been teleporting to me nonstop. You think the Gorio dots are broken? I would not be surprised. Like, they said they fixed it in the latest patch notes, but we all know what that actually means in Phasmo dev terms. That means they tried to fix it, but then no one tested it to actually make sure it was actually fixed. So, like, could definitely be broken Gorio dots. Uh, oh, and it has stepped in my salt, so it definitely cannot be a wraith. Like, we can also get some photos off of that. That was a terrible shot, but it counted still. We're fine. Three stars, baby. So, uh, unless we find the bone, though, we're not going to get a perfect game, so it doesn't really matter too much. Oh, it just killed the breaker. Rude. Let's go get... We haven't actually had to go to the breaker yet, so I don't know where it is. Could be possibly... Oh! How heckin' convenient. It is actually right here. Let's go. Alrighty, Mr. Ghosty, what are you not giving me? There's still no ghost writing, no EMF5. Let's check freeze for freezing temps again. Oh, it's so close to freezing, but not. Okay, it cannot be a shade. It just blew out that candle. So there we go. We can at least rule that out. If we don't get evidence in like the next five minutes, we're gonna say it's a Gorio and leave. <laughs> But that was one candle blowout. Actually, did it blow it out one other time? I don't know. Like I said, if it blows that out and then tries to early hunt, definitely means it's probably an Onryo. Let's try Spirit Box again, maybe? Where are you? Can you give me a sign? Where are you? Uh, did you just close the book? Okay, it also blew this out again. I don't need more photos. What am I doing? Two, you think? Possibly, you might be right. Because, yeah, I was like, I think it might have blown it out once when we were not, like, in the room. So, yeah, I think you're right, Robin. There's the book! I was gonna say, it definitely threw the book without writing in it, so we're definitely not getting ghost writing. Unfortunately, uh, no ghosts have forced ghost writing, so we can't rule out anybody based on that. I think we're good to rule out Mimic now, though, because I do not see ghost orbs anywhere, and a Mimic would always have to have ghost orbs. We have another singing ghost event, though. Okay. So we've had two ghost events, both of which were singing. So could potentially be a Banshee. Not guaranteed, though, because any ghost can do a singing ghost event. It's just that Banshees are technically more likely to do them. But keep in mind that everything is based on RNG. So sometimes you can just get a very singy ghost that ends up not being a Banshee. We could go get a Paramike and try and get Banshee Scream. Still no sign of dots, though. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and rule out Mimic. Well, I'm going to wait for one more blow out of the candle, though, just to make sure it's not an Onryo. God, there's so many dirty waters turned on. 
Okay. I don't think it's an Onryo since it's not trying to early hunt even though it's blowing out that candle repeatedly. Which of these sinks are actually turned on? Dude, I can't even tell. They're so full. Turn that off. Oh, I think I just turned that one on. That one's on. There we go. Those are driving me crazy. Myling sings. Uh, Mylings have no special ability that makes them sing more or less. Uh, Mylings actually are more likely to whisper more often in the paramic, and that is all. And then they're quiet during hunts, but they have no um, ability that makes them more likely to sing. So far, it hasn't done a Yurei ability either, but also Yurei suck, so there's just a possibility it hasn't done a Yurei ability. But the fact that we're not getting any evidence is very odd. Yeah, I, I think I'd, I'd agree with that. It's not probably not a demon. Does the poltergeist even have anything to throw in that room? What if it's a poltergeist that has nothing to throw? We should probably go and find like a couple of things for it to throw. Maybe we can get a polter explosion. Like I said, I'm leaning towards Gorio just because we're not getting any evidence and Gorio dots... I think you're probably right, Seba, that they're still broken, even though the developers claim they are fixed. So, yay! Broken Gorio dots! Woo, 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 woo! You have two times where it was twins sings? I mean, yeah, any ghost can sing, like I said. Could add some other way to get the Yure, in your opinion. Me, I agree with that 100%. Like, Yure's are... Like, I like their door slam ability, but the fact that the, they're so inconsistent in doing it makes it very, very frustrating. And then you have those situations where there are no doors for a Yuri to slam, so they become impossible to identify without evidence. So it's like, yeah, I, I wish they had something else going for them. And I do wish they'd add, like, some kind of condition where it says the Yuri has to do its ability at least once uh, in a certain, like, increment of time. Like, don't put it on, like, a, a predictable timer. It's just, like, it's guaranteed to do it at least once per 10 minutes. Could happen like a minute in, could happen at the 10 minutes. Like it'd be, uh, you know, varied, but like just get some kind of guarantee that it happens within a certain amount of time so that it is possible uh, to identify them. Your A is like the tier one flashlight. Trash, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let's go ahead and take up a, a, a paramic to listen for Banshee Scream. Uh, otherwise, I don't know what else to do. Like, this ghost is giving us nothing. Like, this is terrible. And we're already at 65% sanity. So a couple of ghosts could actually start hunting us now. And I, I yeah, we're definitely not going to use the music box because that's not going to help us at all. We don't need a ghost photo. And we already know where the ghost is. So that's just going to get us killed since we don't have any more smudge sticks. Maybe we'll just play the music because it's pretty and then let it hunt and not die. <laughs> we could do that. Because I love the music for the music box. Like, it's so nice. I actually had that as my uh, my ringtone for a long time. But then I realized that it was kind of bad because it, like, every time it would start playing, I would panic because I would think I was getting hunted in real life. And it was unfortunate. Your one ghost box sucks. Yes, yes, it does. Most of the tier one items kind of suck. Still no sign of EMF five. Come on, give me a banshee scream. One of our objectives is to have it eat the crucifix, right? So yeah, should probably go ahead and stand in the dark a little bit and let my sandy drop just a wee bit. Don't try to close the door on my face, you monster. And if it does start hunting, luckily we can kind of just like pop on over into this one and hide. Let me open that back one. So we can use that to technically block light of sight and then pop in here and close that. And hopefully it won't find us. It might still if it's right on our tail, but we shall try. We shall try. Uh, yeah, let me go ahead and relight this, because again, we'll just kind of keep testing. Like, what evidence are you not giving us, you little sucker? God. 
stop messing with the water. Your hands are clean at this point. The fact that this much dirt came off of your hands in the first place is very concerning, sir. But like, I guess, wait. Is that real? Bro. I think I just got hit with an air ball event. So it's definitely not an Odie. So I was right about it not being Odie Blink. <laughs> it was weird that the light didn't shut off at all. Like usually when you get an air ball event, you'll technically, like some, most of the time you'll get the light to shut off as well. All right. Interesting. Run. Run away. Run away. I need to see what my sanity was. Go, 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 because I want to see if I was below 50% or not. Run faster. My god. Get an inhaler or something. You're so out of breath. It's ridiculous. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Thank you for the 50 pities. No benchy. Bro, why are you playing it twice, sound alerts? Excuse me? <laughs> Apparently Banshee Scream is a two-for-one special for the day. <laughs> why did I play it twice? That was so weird. Didn't I do that last week as well? All right, so I believe we were actually dipping below 50%, so there we go. And so probably just a normal hunting ghost. Um, was the light on? Uh, yes, the light was on. So we know it can't be a mare because the mare cannot hunt until after 40% average sanity if the light is on on in the room that it is in. Uh, so I don't also think it's that. <sighs> Try to think. Did we do anything that would have given it away as a yokai? I think it definitely came back after I had smudged it that first time. And then it's, it came back into the room with us, so I don't think it would be a yokai based on that, because it didn't have any problem follow, following me. But that might be iffy. It's not acting like a poltergeist. We have no evidence still, which is really weird. Just say Gorio and leave. Like, this is ridiculous. What evidence are you not giving us, you little shit ghost? Wee! Can I see through the wall? Ah, not close enough. You, you wish you could tell you it was delayed, but you're fine with it. It's funny. That's like, yeah, that's funny. I wonder if it's going to happen every time somebody does a banshee scream. Yep, still no sign of dots. <laughs> it hasn't done a Uri ability. Hasn't... It threw the book. But I think that's like the only thing in the room that it would be able to throw. But during the hunts, it also didn't sound like it threw a lot, even when it was in the room with us. But again, poltergeists on, on high school are actually awful. But the fact that we have no evidence whatsoever makes me think it's a bug to Gorio, so we're gonna go with it. We're gonna go with it, because we got, like, it's not doing anything to give itself away. It has never changed favorite rooms, so we can't rule out Gorio. But we also have ghost roaming and cha changing favorite rooms set to low, so it could just be any other ghost. But it was a fucking broken Gorio. Let's go! Uh, yeah, Gorio dots are still janky as all get out. Fantastic. Yep. That's cool. That's cool. <laughs> Ooh, tier three motion sensor, though. God, that's so annoying. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and unlock our next motion sensor. $8,000. That's okay. I got lots of money. Let's go ahead and add that in, because I, I like the tier 3 motion sensors. They're fun. And I don't have anything else unlocked yet, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's just go do another random map. If it's high school again, I re-roll. Ridgeview is fine. I like Ridgeview. I don't like how far of a walk it is to get to the front door, but that's okay. But again, we're starting at 0% sanity, so we're kind of doing a little bit of, like, backwards investigating. So we're going to go in, get immediately hunted, so we can tell if it's the ghost is fast, normal speed, right off the bat. Save us a little bit of time. Uh, game's still frozen. There we go. Ooh, who do we have? Bradley Martinez. We need to witness a ghost event, repel, and escape during a hunt. Let's do that. So luckily we can do two of those objectives real fast with this method. And let's see what cursed possession we have as well. Come on, tarot Ah, oh, shoot. I was rooting for tarot cards. Do some nice tarot roulette. No. 
Haunted mirror either. No Ouija board. Mr. Wiggles? <gasps> Mr. Wiggles! Let's go! All right. So we can have some fun with Mr. Wiggles. Let's see if we have any hiding... Spot. Hi. Okay, Ghost does not want me to hide in the locker. I repeat, Ghost does not want me to hide in the locker. That is his locker. He marked it. It's his territory now. I'm gonna run back this way. <laughs> Jesus, that scared me. <gasps> Alrighty. Let's wait for the hunt. So it was a singing ghost event, so we'll make note of that. Come on, ghosty. You gonna hunt me? I also need to find the bone. So while I wait for it to hunt me, I'm gonna look over here. Oh, it's hunting. Hello there, sir. How are you? You a little bit slow? Definitely was getting faster in line of sight. Okay, so I started our smudge timer. Let's go ahead and wait until it uh, hunts again. Goes to like 80s calling. I'll stuff you in the locker, nerd. Hey, at least I would fit easily. I was weird back in junior high. I would climb into the lockers willingly just to prove that I was small enough to fit in them. Because I thought I was cool or something. I don't know. I also climbed into a couple of garbage cans. I was, I was weird. I am still weird, honestly. Um, but anywho, <laughs> I definitely think it's probably in the garage. Hey, Jenji, welcome on in. Slaying and hunting them ghosties. Yeah, that's what we're doing. All right. Let's go ahead and get this on. If it's a demon, it can start hunting right about now. So far, no sign of the bone. Oh, rib cage. Okay, we'll go get a camera, get a picture of that. Obviously not claustrophobic. False. <laughs> I am actually mildly claustrophobic. So like my claustrophobia is a little bit odd though. So like as long as I have access to like fresh air in the closed space, I'm okay. So like if you cover me up and only leave like my nose and my mouth open, I'm totally fine. But as soon as that gets closed off and like the air gets hot, then I panic like no other. So like, it doesn't even have to be like an enclosed, like a super enclosed space. So I remember back, back in the day. Um, I'd be like in my grandparents' car and they would jack up the heater during the winter time to the point where like, I was like struggling to breathe because of how warm it was in the car. So even though it wasn't like a super tight space, just because I didn't have access to like fresh, cool air, I would panic. But sorry, something just beeped in my apartment and I don't know what that was. We good? I'm trying to think of what would have beeped. Okay, any ghost but the spirit can hunt now. Are you just gonna be a spirit? Excuse me. Oh God. Jesus, that was almost right on top of me. Excuse me. That was suspicious. So either that was just a coincidence or it's we got ourselves a roaming ghost. Low battery fire detector. No, it wasn't that kind of beep. Cause that would have been like a triple beep because I've heard that before, but it was like one solid beep. It sounded like my AC unit, but it, my AC unit's not turned on, so I don't know what it could have been. Why would my AC... I don't know. But anyways, that was also kind of right at the edge of when a spirit could have hunted as well. So I probably want to do one more smudge test. Deja vu, Matrix breaking down. Ooh, I should have known. I should have known, but that was odd that it tried to hunt from right on top of me. So I'm actually going to grab a crucifix as well, because it could very well be. It's not a phantom because the blink is not right. So a phantom would be more invisible during the hunt than other ghosts. And it was very visible, a uh, very normal blink. So also not an Oni because it wasn't extremely visible. But the fact that it tried to spawn right on top of me. 
Bro just turned off this light basically right after I turned it on. Are you actually gonna be a mayor? Hello? Oh, there you are! I was gonna say, there's like, definitely a ghost event going on. It also turned off the breaker. So, like, there is a chance that it is just in this room and it just happened to, like, spawn right on top of me. So I'm gonna go, like, a little bit further this way and see if it tries to spawn on top of me over here. Make sure I have that. Hello? Bro! Bro! Well, that doesn't count, because now he's gonna be over here. Oh my god! What an active little ghosty. Holy crap. Not a miling. <gasps> hey, Swains, welcome on in. I still... I'm getting wrecked? Nah. Haven't died yet. Now that you've said that, though, I'm definitely jinxed. How are you today? It's good to see you. How are your mid glutes? <laughs> okay, I actually do think it might just be in this area, though, because it just did this nice trick with the plate. You're all good? Just trying to fix some buggies? Nice. So, yeah, oh, let me do a plug for you. If you guys don't know, the Swains, uh, they are making, uh, they have made the game Death Watcher, which we played on the channel quite a while back, but it's one of the Observation Duty style games that was really, really fun. Then they've also made Death Watchers now, which is like a combination of an Observation Duty style game mixed with like a ghost hunting game, and it's super, super cool. And we played that last week on like, what, what day was that? Was that like Tuesday or something? I can't remember. Wednesday? It was Wednesday. So like, go check it out. It's really, really fun. I, I heavily enjoyed playing it. I don't need to do that. I know I don't need to, but I wanted to because I appreciate you being here. And people should know that your game's amazing. Let's see. And hey, Crunch, it's good to see you. How are you today? All right. So Ga Ghost is being super spicy. Like, that was the worst roaming test of my life because it kept spawning on top of me for ghost events. So all of those ghost events do not mean the ghost was roaming towards me. There's a plate outside. Excuse me. Uh, because the, any ghost will kind of spawn to your location for ghost events. So that did not tell us anything, except that it's a nice and active ghost, that's for sure. But we are at 0% sanity, so most ghosts will be pretty active. <sighs> Sir! For all that is good and holy, stop it! What the fuck? It's twins. I was right, it was super slow. It's totally twins. Cause now it's slightly fast. And did you guys see what happened? It did that ghost event and then immediately started hunting from a di completely different location. That was such twin behavior. Like that was such twin behavior. Like, are you kidding me? That was awesome. Like, I'm pretty sure that sounded slightly fast, even before it had been in line of sight of me. And hey, Zach, welcome on in. How are you today? So, like, I kept saying that I kept thinking that it sounded slightly slow, and that's how you can kind of identify twins, is that 50% of the time, it'll be, uh, or actually, let me rephrase that. When the twins hunts, it has a 50-50 chance of either being slightly fast or slightly slow. It doesn't matter, like, it's completely randomized as to which one it'll end up doing. It's the same 50-50 chance every time it initiates a hunt. Uh, so it's not, like, more likely to be slow or anything like that. I've heard a couple of rumors that say that it'll definitely, like, switch between fast or slow a certain amount of time, but nope, it's completely randomized as to... It's a 50-50 chance every single time uh, it tries to hunt. But that time, I definitely think it sounded slightly faster. Uh, we've done all the objectives. I've gotten zero photos, but that's okay. Um, also... Do I see a crook in that at all? I don't. But I'm pretty sure this is probably a twin interaction. Oh, baby! There it is! Absolutely a twin interaction right there. You see that little crook? But this right here, we have a, a jump in six activity, which is not possible. The largest spike you can have outside of, like, a ghost ability or a ghost event or a hunt is going to be a, a, a spike in five on this activity chart. So the fact I see a six here tells me it's probably two interactions that kind of happen so quickly together they stacked on top of each other. Then over here we have this almost straight line that then has this crook on it. And if you see this a lot like this, most of the time that's going to mean you have twins unless, and there's a very big catch, 
unless you have candles in the map. If you have candles in the map and the ghost blows it out, it can cause these crooks very, very often. So don't ever think you have twins if you have a lit candle in the map that's being blown out or if you're using a cursed possession because that also messes with it. But I know I have no candles. I'm not doing anything that would cause any of these little crooks. So again, twins. Twins, 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 twins. So you're good? Love what I did with my hair? Oh, thank you! I got a new, like, little crimper thing, so I was having fun with that. I appreciate it. And thank you for the lurk as well. Watched an episode of Paranormal 911. Oh, I've actually never heard of that before. But anyways, I'm confident that it's twins. Let's get out of here. Hope you don't have twins. Twins would be very overwhelming. That's for sure. <laughs> Let's see. And thank you so much for the follow. Welcome on in. Yep, there we go. Uh, so a lot of people say you can no longer tell the twins from looking at the activity chart and they're wrong. You just have to know how to do it right because it's not a guarantee and never is a guarantee. You have to like use your knowledge of what's happening in the map versus what's going on on the activity chart to kind of think about if it could potentially be a twin interaction you're seeing or if there's something else that's causing that crook but because i know i had no candles on it i was no i was not playing with the, any cursed possessions the only thing that really could have been causing that crook was that the uh, ghost was doing interactions kind of like stacked on top of each other now some other ghosts can technically do interactions like really close together as well that can sometimes cause that crook but it's very very unlikely uh, so because I was seeing it so often, I was fairly confident that would be the twin interactions. But then we also heard that it was slightly slow and then slightly fast in two different hunts. So there we have it. Nice, easy twins. Like that was so cool, honestly, to have it do a ghost event right on top of me and then start from a completely different location. Doesn't happen super often with the twins uh, for me. So it was really cool to actually see that. I love the twins. They're such a complex ghost and I adore them. Stop with high school. We got Benjamin Nilsson. <laughs> we need to prevent the ghost from hunting with the crucifix, get firelight, and motion sensor. Rip is right. Why, like, Jesus Christ. I don't want high school again, but we're committed. We're doing random maps today, and I'm not going to ruin it. I'm completely frozen in this game, though. Okay, there we go. Mmm, yeah. We're just going to go in and get hunted. So again, if it sounds normal speed, we do have one evidence to fall back on. But first, we're going to get hunted and see if it sounds normal speed. Otherwise, we'll be able to identify the ghost really quickly. We do start with the breaker on because that's just nicer. Makes gameplay just feels much smoother because <clears throat> no shade. But I hate the breaker dynamics in all ghost hunting games. Okay, bye. We got a summoning circle. Thank you for coming to my TED talk. <laughs> no shade, but some shade. Stupid breakers. Uh, alrighty, let's see. Let's go ahead and get this light on so we have a hiding spot because it should... Oh, it, yep, it's hunting. I don't hear anything. So it could potentially be down on that side of the school. Yeah, I don't hear anything. Oh, lights flickering over here, so it's probably coming down from that hallway right now. Or is it above us? Hello? Oh, there you are! Hi there, sir! So we have no idea what this, uh, the speed of this ghost is actually going to be because it could just be super fast right now because it's been in line of sight of us for a very long time. Hi, how are you? Not Oni Blink, not Phantom Blink. Start the smudge timer. Oh, I think the hunt's over. Okay, perfect. Uh, so let's quickly go get, grab another smudge stick. So we know it came from somewhere down that direction. We don't know exactly where though. And hey, Lone Wolf, it's good to see you. I hope you're having a great day as well. It's good to see ya. I said that twice. Whoopsies. Redundancy. I love it. I think he wants to give me money and wants my bank information. Oh, yeah, you're probably right. We should give that to him because I definitely could. I, I want some of that money. It's probably uh, the money that he got from the princess of some made up country that definitely exists. And he needs to wire it to my account immediately. Otherwise, he's going to lose it all. Saturday was the best day ever. Oh, yeah. How was the movie? Did you enjoy it? 
I'm assuming you did because you said it was the best day ever. Hey, Mango! It's good to see you. How are you, friend? All right, Mr. Ghosty. Is there a hiding spot I can use over here? Where did you actually come from? Because that door is kind of surprisingly open. That one's open. So Ghost probably has been down this direction. Let's go. I'm gonna go all the way down into the hallway by the bathroom so we have somewhere to hide again and then kind of figure out if it came from upstairs or if it was down here. Best movie ever, you had fun with your friends. I'm glad to, to hear that. And Biosynth, hey, it's so good to see you, friend. How are ya? Oh, it's hunting. Okay, so it's definitely not a spirit. Probably not a demon, because that was after a minute and a half. Right? Dude, I don't hear it. Oh, shit! It's fast! Hello! Okay, it's not slowing down, so we know it's not a Diogen. That is heckin' fast. It's a revenant. Cause now it's super slow. So the remnant gets insanely fast as soon as it hears you, sees you, or detects your electronics, and then it zooms towards you. I'm assuming it was that fast during... Actually, did it slow back? Oh, the hunt ended right after I smudged. So I am using the tier two smudge, so the ghost will slow down for five seconds after I smudge it. And I think the hunt had ended before, like, we heard the ghost, when it should have sped back up. So yeah, it probably was rev speed last time. We just had no way of knowing because it saw us from so far away. So we'll go ahead and get hunted one more time to confirm it's not a mimic because if it ends up not being rev speed next time, we know it has to be a mimic. Exactly, yep. Could be could be mimic as well. So we definitely want to get hunted one more time just to confirm. But we're... Ugh. Why is it always crucifix on high school? That's bullshit. I don't, I don't want to get hunted. What do you have read in Swedish? That some scam scammer send you an SMS and tell you that your bank owes you money and wants your information to give you the money they owe you? Yes, that one's always fine. <laughs> uh, first name Dio, last name Jin. Dio Jin. That'd be a weird ghost. Looked like the ghost of Leather Leatherface. Actually, I've never seen Leatherface, so I have no idea what that ghost looks like. <gasps> We're getting so close to like the official start of spooky season though. I need to get like a list of all the mo spooky movies I need to watch this year. Oh, I'm excited. Oh. Slow, fast, still a rev. All right, we're good. Come here, little buddy. Here he comes. Oh my God, he's so fast. <laughs> I love revenants. They're so easy to identify. <laughs> it's so spooky. Texas Chainsaw character. Ah, I see. Yeah, I haven't seen that. Do I care about doing any of the objectives? No, I kind of want to get out of the high school. I'm not going to lie. Because now we're just at a point where it'd be like walking back and forth just trying to get these objectives and I don't want to because I'm lazy. So we're just going to go and get out of high school. <laughs> we got the ghost. We're fine. Still gonna see long legs. <gasps> yeah, I'm waiting for it to come to streaming services. I don't think it's been released on it yet. I was hoping they would do like an earlier release because of how quickly uh, like Twisters was put on streaming services, but I don't think anyone's showing long legs yet. So that's unfortunate because I do want to see that one. Even if it's just to make fun of it, but I love Nicolas Cage. So there's that. Because anytime someone says it's the best mo or best horror movie ever made, I immediately go, mm, probably not, but I want to see it anyways. Was the new Twister good? I really liked it. It was. I thought it was very entertaining. All right, bye bye. I don't care about anything else. Yeah, I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed Twisters a lot. Still would recommend seeing Twister first if you haven't seen Twister, because there were a lot of like callbacks to Twister in Twisters. 
and I still will always have, you know, a like in my heart, Twister is still better just because it was the first one and I love it to death and it was iconic. But like, Twister's had a lot of good elements, so. Can't wait until Spooky Month either. Ugh. Spooky Month, what do you mean? It's spooky season. September, October, November, it's all spooky season. And then we have that dark month we, we don't talk about. <laughs> I'm not ready for the Christmas takeover again. Oh my god. Oh god. I'm still emotionally distraught from last year when Target started selling Christmas stuff a week before Halloween, and then they got rid of all their Halloween stuff the week before Halloween. Like, that was insane. If they do that again this year, I'm gonna cry. Like, at least wait until after Halloween. Like, come on. Who do we got? Justin Nilsson. This must be uh, Benjamin Nilsson's cousin. But we need to repel the ghost with the incense, capture photo, motion sensor. That should be a crime, right? Like, it was, I, like, legitimately was getting ready, decorating my apartment for Halloween that coming weekend, and all of their Halloween stuff was gone. And I was like, what? Are, are you insane, Target? And uh, because of that, I actually did not shop at Target until Christmas was over, because I was like, no, I am not supporting that nonsense. Eh. Alright, ghosty, hunt me. Oh, it's hunting me. I don't have a hiding spot. Must be upstairs. Why can I not hear it at all? Hello? I need a hiding spot, though. Okay, normal speed. Are you a miling? Oh, the hunt's over. Hello. That's what I was gonna say, I'm like, that might actually be a miling. That felt pretty quiet. Did they actually make it that you can t tell the difference between normal ghosts and milings between floors now? Because that'd actually be a really cool change with the, the changes they made to the sound between floors. Because it used to be that all ghosts would sound the same volume on different floors, regardless of whether or not it was a normal ghost or a miling. So if they actually updated that, that'd be pretty cool. Because like I heard nothing when it was right above us. And that's kind of odd. So I'm curious. I definitely want it to come back down and be on the same floor as us again to see if we can do a proper miling test. And hey, Omega, welcome on in. That's Target and Walmart for you. Even, even for those two, that was weird. To not take the opportunity to sell Halloween stuff right before the holiday, that's just, that's just bad business at that point. Like, that's bad strategies. So I'm hoping that was just like something weird happened last year and they're not gonna do that again because that was not normal. Let's see, last movie you saw was Abigail and you really enjoyed it, saw it twice. Abigail. What is that one about? Without spoilers. I don't like it sounds familiar, but I can't place it. Let's see. And uh Innocenta, welcome on in. Hello, hello to you as well. How are you? And thank you so much for that follow. I really appreciate it. Can try wrapping the fl fly paper around it. I don't want to touch that. I'm good. We've been actually we've been using a lot of fly traps like those. Uh, in our apartment recently, because uh, with all of our plants, like, you're, you're gonna get bugs when you have plants. Oh, wait, that goes to Sunday. I think. Is that a... Yeah. Oh, it's actually not a miling. Because I can hear the footsteps before my flashlight started flickering. So, no, audio between floors just sucks now. Alright, cool. Where'd you go? Should go back upstairs? But anyways, we've been using a lot of that flypaper stuff, and man alive, that's nasty. If you get it on your skin, oh, it's so hard to get off. Because I accidentally, like, bumped into one that was hanging up, and I was like, ah! And it was nasty. Anyway, so yeah, it's actually not a miling. You just can't hear ghosts between floors anymore. How fun is that? It looks like it's probably coming from that room. Just want to see if Spirit Halloween has stuff you can use to decorate your study to reflect post-apocalyptic theme. Ooh, that'd be fun. I actually got, I don't know if you guys can actually see it. It's right there behind me. I went to, um, I think it was the Home Goods store, and they had some Halloween stuff for sale. So it's like this little, like, fake mirror window thing that has a cat and, like, a little, 
skull and books on it, and it's really cute. Like, you probably can't see it well enough to see all the detail, but it's stinking cute. Here, Ghosty. I need to smudge you again. Saw an image from Abigail, and there was a woman in a dress screaming. It was pretty awesome. Ooh. You're enjoying my stream. It's the first time you saw me. But I have such a good mood and make you feel like you know... Or it made you feel like you know me for eternity. Oh, that's so sweet. What the... Did I miss an entire hunt? What is happening? Excuse me. Yeah, we just missed an entire hunt, so that was not... That's... Why can I... Are you... Sure this is not a miling? Like, this feels really quiet. Like, so, technically, when I usually test for milings, I wait until the ghost is kind of close by so that my flashlight is still flickering. Uh, and if you can't hear the ghost footsteps, and it's a miling. If you can hear the ghost footsteps, it's not a miling. But, like, I am not hearing this ghost at all. Like, this is really weird. Is it just because I'm using my janky headphones? Could be. Like, usually for Phasmo, I like to play with my big headset because it has better audio quality. So maybe it's just because I'm using my in earbuds. It's a possibility. You always get Annabelle and Abigail confused. I was like, yeah, I still don't know what Abigail actually is. I know Annabelle. Annabelle was pretty fun. That's the one spooky heckin' doll. It's really cute. Ah, thanks. Ghost try harder, right? Like, dude. Oh, we can actually hide. Oh, oh hi. How are you? I'm gonna go this way. Let's see if it's Yokai. Oh shit, I don't have two smudges. I'm dead. I'm so dead. No, I'm fine. I thought I had two smudge sticks with me, but that's okay. Normal speed. Already knew that though. We'll start another smudge timer. Not sure if I've seen it, but you saw an advert for a new Nightmare on Elm Street starring the original actor? Really? Oh, that'd be spooky. Like, Nightmare on Elm Street was hilarious. Like, that was... <laughs> it's like an iconic movie, but it was not scary for me personally. I laughed my ass off during that entire movie. Like, that was so fucking funny. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get... Actually, I'm going to save one smudge stick until after we, like, take our sanity pills in case we need it in an emergency. But we definitely want to do one more smudge test just to see. I don't believe it's a spirit because I think it haunted before three minutes had passed, but I'm actually not positive. Let's go back upstairs. I still think best line ever. I'm your new daddy now. Blah. Like, uh, how is that a horror movie? <laughs> I was like, yeah, I know it's not a miling. It's definitely, definitely too loud. Animal movie sucked. I was like, eh, I, I thought they were okay. Like, they weren't the worst horror movies I've ever seen, but they weren't super great either, but... The worst ones of the Conjuring universe? I would have to agree with that. That is that is pretty true. Actually, I don't know. The Nun was kind of meh. That's right, that was kind of in the Conjuring universe as well, if I'm not mistaken. I Because I was not the largest fan of the, fan of the Nun. I think I preferred Annabelle over the Nun. You liked the nun. That's like it was okay, but there was a there were a lot of issues that I had with it where it just made it feel really dumb. <laughs> Maestro, it's so good to see you, my friend. I'm I'm hanging in there. It's it's been a bit of a rough day, a rough weekend, so to speak. But I'm hanging in there, and I'm so glad to see you. I was just actually thinking about you, wondering how you were how you were doing. Looking gorgeous. Hey, well, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Can we get a big old shout out for Maestro? If you guys don't, don't know Maestro Spooks, one of my favorite people on Twitch, absolutely hilarious, super, super sweet. I don't, I'm like smacking my lipstick in the air because of how, I don't know what I'm doing. I just fidget with stuff. It's fine, but. <clears throat> the Nun is underrated. Nun 2 was actually really good. I was like, I did not actually see the, the second Nun movie because I didn't really like the first one. So I can't say anything about that one. Sorry, I had a rough weekend sending me good vibes. Thank you. Yeah, some some asshole stole my bike and I found them selling it on Craigslist. <laughs> what is what is happening, bro? I was gonna try and do a, a yokai test, but apparently this ghost has just been hunting nonstop and not getting anywhere near this, this room. Excuse me. 
All right, let's try a yokai test in here then. This ghost is being really weird. Like something's up with the audio. Hello? Is it just, I might be back in like that little storage area. Oh, here it comes. Hello, 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 can you come here? Okay, probably not Yokai. Hi. I'm gonna go now. So again, definitely not a spirit because it hunted before three minutes had passed. Did I report the account as fraud? Not yet, because like I found out like that it was being sold on Craigslist like 30 minutes before stream started, so I haven't had time. But the idiot gave their first name and their phone number, so I found their full name and their address so I can report them to the police. So crime solving going great. <laughs> That's awful, you hate that. It's happened to you before, right? Like it sucks, but luckily, I found my bike, I know who stole it, and I can kind of take care of it this way, but like, dude, what a hassle. Okay, yeah, I just think this is gonna be a normal ghost then. So we definitely know it's not a fast ghost, so it's none of these guys. Uh, not a Myling, not a spirit, not a phantom, not an Oni, not a Hantu. Doesn't feel like it's roaming to us at all, so probably not Wraith or Banshee as well. We'll kind of double check those if we want to, but uh, it also took longer than a, a minute and a half each time, I think, to hunt, so probably not a demon, but we'll still keep that on the list just in case. Probably not a mimic. Let's go ahead and take our sanity pills and go actually check for evidence now. Hey, Mrs. Lancet, it's so good to see you. Sorry to hear about my bike. It's, ah, it's all right. I appreciate that, though. Got someone steal yours, but luckily your husband was on his way home from work and caught them riding it around. <gasps> That's so lucky. Like, I at least got lucky that, like, I, my first thought was go, like, look on... Look to see if anyone's selling it on Craigslist, and sure enough, it was one of the first results, and I was like, yeah, that's my bike. Didn't even bother to, like, take off the bell and the light that I put on it, so it's, like, super obvious that it is my bike. <laughs> so, that's at least, you know, a plus, that I know who took it, and I can thankfully report them. Alright, where are you actually hunting from, my guy? Any ghost orbs? So justice will be served, at least, hopefully. And it's not a super valuable bike anyway, so if I don't end up getting it back, it's like not the end of the world. Okay, I don't see any ghost orbs anywhere. Nancy drew expert detective skills. It's true. I'm actually pretty good at solving mysteries. Sometimes it doesn't seem like it when I'm screaming at uh, mystery games, but... <laughs> Word of warning, don't watch Get Out. Oh, yeah, I never actually um, wanted to see that because, like, I saw the trailer for it and it kind of, like, gave me the wrong kind of heebie-jeebies. So that's probably not my type of horror movie for sure. Uh, but let me see. I feel like I missed something. Uh, thank you for the shout out. Of course, Maestro. You're officially finished moving out of your house and settling into the new space. <gasps> Let's go. Oh, my lordy lord. That, that's always such a tough process, Maestro, so I'm glad you're kind of settling into the new space. Hopefully you enjoy it. Let's see. Learn the hard way. If you don't have your bike uh, VIN, the police won't do anything about the theft. It's true. It's very, very unfortunate because, like, they can't... They legitimately just can't do anything about it because you have no proof that you actually owned it. So it's unfortunate that if you don't have that information... That's like, if you own a bike, write down like a serial number, the VIN from it, like anything from the bike, make sure you have proof that you once owned it. Cause otherwise, yeah, if something like this happens, the police can't help, so. Taking off personal stuff and repainting it would be the minimum to do, you would think, right? Like it was such a half-assed attempt. Like, come on, if you're gonna be a thief, commit, like, come on, just do it right. <laughs> no, where's my breaker? It's not in here. Because the ghost did turn it off, so we actually know it's not a gin. We also do that just based on speed as well. I just forgot to mark that off, but... Worst movie you ever watched was the original Pol Poltergeist. That one was odd, too. Like, I, I... I don't think I would say it's the worst movie I've ever watched. That's definitely... Still up for... Oh, what would... I wonder, what is the worst movie I think I've ever watched? That's actually a tough decision. I've seen a lot of bad movies. 
It is a big suck, but you now know for the future. Yeah, it is true. Unfortunately, sometimes you just have to learn things the hard way. Someone stole your ex's bike before and was riding it around and they ran into you quite literally. <gasps> well, that's unfortunate. Oh my God, there's cock everywhere. Oh my God. So yeah, I think the ghost is probably in here. Let's see if this is a cold spot. 6.9. <laughs> oh, that's lovely. <laughs> We're just gonna leave the 69 with the cock. There you go, enjoy. Uh, where are you? Let's see, you watch me, daddy. Cob you watched Cobweb recently, it was pretty good. I actually haven't seen that one before. Uh, where are you? I just turned off the breaker again. Uh, so, oh, we should probably check for fingerprints on that. I don't have a UV light, shoot. Mm. And my fingerprint duration is only set to 60 seconds, so by the time I get back, it's gonna be too late to check, but might as well go grab number one, put this in the correct room. And thank you for the 69 biddies, Pink Wolf. <clears throat> see, Hancock for you. Mm. I shouldn't put things that large into my mouth on stream, but we're gonna do it. Oh. <laughs> Thank you for the 125 biddies. You have to do that one too, obviously. Obviously, it's just a given. You've never watched any movies, because if you watch movies and play games all day, you'll have no time left for studies. I don't know. I made it through my college years watching movies, playing video games, and still having time for studies, so you can balance it. Uh, movies are a very big part of my life. I love watching movies. And I've done okay for myself. I got a physics degree. I did okay. Do I have a video camera in there yet? I do, but it's in the wrong area, so we need to go move that. Uh, let me see. Let's go ahead and take in a crucifix and a motion sensor. I like spider movies, itsy bitsy. I don't like spider movies. I hate spiders. <laughs> so, like, the fact that I want to see the long legs is probably going to be a disaster, but spiders freak me out. Will Smith superhero movie. It was the only movie you've ever left the theater. <gasps> oh, um, yeah, what was that one even called? I never saw that because I just, I'm, I've never been the largest fan of Will Smith. The only movie I've actually like legitimately liked him in was like Men in Black, but that had more to do with, um, oh, what's his name? Oh my God, I can't think of his name. The the other guy, um, the older, the older dude in Men in Black. Tommy, Tommy Lee Jones. Yeah, 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 that's the one. I love Tommy Lee Jones. So like he helped balance it out. <laughs> so yeah, Tommy Lee Jones. If you haven't seen Man, uh, Man of the House, solid movie, beautiful comedy with Tommy Lee Jones. <laughs> Let's see, does Long Legs have spiders in it? I actually don't know, I haven't seen it yet, but I'm assuming it does because like Daddy Long Legs is a very common uh, spider name. So I'm assuming it has something to do with spiders, but I actually don't know. I'll have to go and see it. So far, I'm not seeing any ghost orbs. No dots yet. Let's go ahead and freeze this facing that direction. Um, yeah, no, we don't ask, no no asking for personal information uh, on stream, please. My, if I, if I want to give away what my age is, I will do that on my own time. Please do not ask for that. You have a meeting with your professor tomorrow about your master's project, so you're here. Here you are watching Phasma while think you think about your presentation. That's a good way to do it. Hopefully you're able to come up with a good presentation idea. Presentations are awful. You in the other room making dinner shouting, Tommy Lee Jones, like you're gonna hear me. I heard you, I did, in my heart. I heard ya. Okay, so far I'm still not seeing, why is the evidence being so finicky today? Is this gonna be another Gorio that doesn't show any evidence? I swear if it's another Gorio, I'm gonna cry. Cause like, I don't see any freezing temps. Oh, we still need to check for fingerprints. We haven't done that. Uh, so let's actually take up some salt so we can see if it steps in that. We can check for footprints that way. We also need to capture a photo of it. So we'll take this up. Hancock is the name of the movie. Oh! So you can tell I'm a nerd because I thought you meant like a, a different, wait, what is? 
<gasps> Never mind. When you said Hancock, I was thinking Hitchcock. I don't know why. So no, I'm not a nerd. I'm just dumb sometimes. <laughs> I wasn't even thinking of the right thing. Jesus, my bad. So I thought you were saying like Hitchcock movies, but no, that's not even the right right word. My defense, it's a Monday. I'm tired. Well, let's go ahead and put this down. Yeah, wrong, entirely wrong thing. I don't know why I thought when you said Hancock, I thought Hitchcock. Hitchcock movies can be weird, so I would have accepted it. I do like a good Alfred Hitchcock movie though. All right, we're gonna have to disturb the 69 though. I need to check for freezing temps. Ooh, it's actually getting warmer in here. The ghost might have actually moved rooms. So we are definitely above 10 degrees now, which is annoying because I just put salt down. Uh, did you move out here? If it has changed favorite rooms, it cannot be a Gorio. So where, where'd you go, ghosty? Let's see if we can find a cold spot. That's interesting. Where'd you go? Hitchcock is great. Great. I was like, I've, I have, I still want to watch a lot more Hitchcock movies. I haven't seen a heckin' ton. I still need to see Psycho. I have not seen Psycho yet. I lost the ghost? Bro. Bro, where'd you go? Are you still over here? Def see it. I was like, yeah, I'll add that to my list. I'll be a good spooky season one. Huh. Did you move downstairs? Weird. Yeah, Rear Window is really, really good. That was actually the first uh, Hitchcock movie I saw. Cause I had to watch it for a, uh... what class was that? It was one of my college classes. I think it was, oh yeah, it was a writing class where we had to like write about some kind of theme. I don't even, I don't exactly remember what we were writing about. What are you doing down here? Cause I definitely did not turn that on. We know it can't be a mare though. Cause it turned on a light. Cause I did not do that. So is it this room or the utility room? What the heck? Yeah, it moved all the way down here. Okay, so not a Gorio. What the hell? That's a huge roam. Like if it weren't for the fact that it turned on lights, I would I would get actually like be suspicious of Mayor, but excuse me? That's so weird. Okay. Let's see, and uh, Shahab, welcome on in. You need to watch re re Rear Window. It's really good. I, I really enjoy it. I actually just rewatched that not too long ago. What the heck though? This, that's a really weird roam. Like ghosts usually don't roam that far. So that's fascinating. You're afraid of birds for a few months as a kid because of him. That's fair. I still, I watched, I think like half of the birds. Uh, never did get to see the full movie though. Why was that an absolutely silent ghost event? What is going, like something feels wrong about this investigation. Something feels like horribly broken. Like the audio is being funky. The ghost is making huge roams when I feel like it shouldn't be able to. Like what is happening? This is odd. Let's uh, do a check for ghost orbs, dots, uh, check for freezing temps again. Let me lock this in place right there. Still three degrees. So far, no sign of freezing. Let's go ahead and get all the equipment in here. Like this is quite the investigation. Ghost is having an off Monday too, right? Like this is, this is weird. I'm curious. What if it is, uh, no, that wouldn't make sense. Cause a Banshee still uh, can't roam, use its ability to roam to you on different floors. Cause I was gonna say, what if it's actually a roaming ghost that did like roam slash teleport down to us while we were downstairs and then changed rooms that way? Lots of possibilities. So maybe, maybe somehow it's either a Banshee or a Wraith. When I tried to put down my salt downstairs, it had already, or upstairs, it had already moved. So we should definitely try putting salt down again. So far, it doesn't feel like it's been following me around though. But we'll, we'll keep that in mind. EMF three, all right. So you are, let's check for fingies. So far, no sign of fingies, but I don't know that it's touched anything. It definitely just threw something. Let's go ahead and put down the ghostwriting book. Some something seems a little f fucky wucky. 
<laughs> Fucky wucky. I like that. <gasps> Doug, it's good to see you. Thank you so much for the 12 hectic months. Look at that. Thank you. I appreciate that so much. I hope you're having a lovely day. Let's see. Any sign of... Uh, that's not the greatest placement for DOS, actually, in this room. I should probably move it to the other wall. Because, yeah, no, that's that's not a great view. But let's, uh... You know what? Instead of going upstairs, I'm just going to grab this spirit box. What else do we need to check for? I'm going to put a crucifix down in the utility room. And more salts would be really good. In case it is a wraith. Because maybe it's a wraith that teleported to us. And then changed rooms that way. I was actually uh, laughing because I, I just barely rewatched the first season of uh, Broadchurch, which is a like um, a British TV show, crime show. It's really good. It's got David Tennant in it. But I found out they actually made an American version of the show, and it was called, I think, Grace Point. And I did not realize it also has David Tennant in it. So I was watching, I finished watching the first season of Broadchurch on Amazon Prime, and then it started auto playing Grace Point, and I was so confused that, like, it was the exact same characters, exact same plotline, except the acting was like 10 times worse and it was like really, really janky and bad. And I was just sitting there like, am I having a stroke? Like what's happening? So I actually looked it up and saw that, yeah, it was a, a like American remake of Broadchurch also starring David Tennant. It was so weird. All right, let's, let's put that there. It has thrown quite a bit. It didn't sound like it was throwing a heck ton during the hunts, but we're going to go ahead and make a polter pile just in case. Because if it throws more than one item at a time, we know it has to be a poltergeist. Let's just make a nice little po- Oh, door touch. Any fingies? No fingies, so probably not obake. Eh? So go ahead and rule that out, especially since we didn't see it shapeshift during the hunt. Where are you? Where- Where, where are you? Where are you? Oh, there it goes. Okay. It was being a little finicky. Are you here? How old are you? Where are you? Don't you be throwing those nonsense at me. How dare you? Are you stinky? Are you a poo poo head? Are you sexy? Am I sexy? No? Alrighty, well that's rude. Like, look at all this stuff. It threw all the toilet paper. It's having a time down here. Let's see if we can get a polter explosion. Still no evidence, which is like, this has been happening a lot today. Do they break evidence too? <laughs> uh, do I have my thermometer? Yeah, let's double check for freezing. Hey, my hair's looking very cute today. Well, thank you, Mrs. Lancets. I appreciate that. Still no sign of freezing. It did turn off the breaker again, so let's go get that back on. Oh, ghost event. Hi, how are you? What, what are you? Freaking weird ghost. It's bizarre. You had no idea David Tennant was in the American remake. Right? Like, I was so confused when I started, like, watching it being played. And I was like, I'm having some kind of meltdown. Oh, my God. My sanity is actually really bad and it's not hunting us yet. It threw an item in the room with us, though. So I don't think it can be a shade. Hmm. I don't think it's a demon because it hasn't tried hunting us yet. Uh, no sign of ghost orb, so probably not a mimic. Let's do a double check. Oh, this is a terrible room to try and see Dodds, but... Nobody's on his way home, so time to hop off and rile up the cat so they fight him. Let's go! Battle time! Let's see, and uh, Yolanda, welcome on in. Oh, and uh, oh, I think that's supposed to say Obake. We'll always shapeshift on, on the 12th and 27th flash. Uh, I don't know if that's actually true or not. Given that it's only guaranteed to flash once per hunt. But it can do that more times than not, but it has a 6% chance. So I don't know where you're getting those numbers from. If you can state your sources, I'll go check it out. But it's, it's, it's randomized. It has a 6% chance, according to the developers, outside of the one guaranteed flash per hunt. So I'm not sure where you're getting those numbers from, but... Old Fay. I feel like no, because it wasn't. We got hunted right off the right at the start, and it wasn't fast, so it can't be a Fay. Because it was definitely normal speed right from the get go. Bro, what are you? We're still not getting any evidence. This is really weird. Is evidence just busted today? <laughs> 
You saw it in a TikTok. You forgot who from? Ah, solid. Because <laughs> I don't know. I just, I'm going off of what the developers themselves have said. And outside of the one guaranteed flash per hunt, it has a 6% chance. Uh, so that implies that it's randomized. So I, I don't, like, unless you can tell me who it was and how they got their information, I would take that with a very big grain of salt. Because as far as I know, that is not how Obake's work. Uh, let's see. Still, I need to capture a photo of it. It's done quite a few ghost events, but I haven't gotten a photo of it because he keeps doing it like really far away from me and really quietly. So let's go and prepare to get hunted though. Um, I'm also gonna bring in a candle so we can do an Onryo test. Like, I'm getting actually very annoyed that evidence is just not doing anything today. Like, this is really weird. <laughs> this is why I prefer playing with zero evidence anyways, because, like, why waste my time trying to find evidence that never shows up? Like, this is this is really odd. Did they fully break the game? Is that what happened? Okay, we also need to go get the breaker back on. Come on, just give us something. Give us something to work with. Have a, I already have a crucifix right there, right? Yep, okay. Come on, give us any evidence. Any evidence will do, my friend. No, you don't want to? All right, the ghosts are just shy. Like, it's definitely, like, it threw almost everything up here as well. Let's go ahead and grab my secondary. Stop. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, that was a crucifix burn. That was not the breaker going off. That was a crucifix. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's go see if that candle was still lit. Go, 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 go. At least I, I was smart and I saved our one smudge stick. So we can still test during the hunt. I, I'm curious to see if this is actually a uh, poltergeist, because it is throwing a lot. But only one item at a time, as far as I can tell when we're actually in here. So it's it's interesting. Let's see if it if it ever eats that crucifix underneath that lit candle. It cannot be an Onryo, so we can rule that out. Oh my god, it's fucking dots! <gasps> Finally! Why did that took so take so long? Oh my lordy lord. So we're looking at either Yokai or Yure Yurei, most likely, unless... It is, in fact, Wraith or Banshee. Like I said, it doesn't feel like it is roaming towards me at all, but maybe. Maybe. Uh, okay, yep, 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 that checks out. I can get pictures of that. Okay, it's throwing stuff. Like, holy crap, that took so long to see dots. And we at least know it cannot be Gorio for sure. We, like, it definitely changed favorite rooms, uh, so we already could rule that out, but we saw the dots with our naked eyes, so we know it cannot be Gorio. The guy's TikTok user is Phasmodal? I have no idea who that is. Where are they getting their information from? <laughs> Again, I am going off of what the developers themselves have said. Let's see. Let's go ahead and put down more salt, though, because I don't know... Did it actually ever step in my salt pile? Did I put some down by that door? I don't remember. Patches equals unstable code, right? That's like, yeah, I swear something feels broken about dots in general right now. Like this has been so stressful getting dots. Holy crap. Like, I'm really hoping this is going to be one of the Romy ghosts. Oh, it did step in my salt. I did put it down. So it can't definitely cannot be a wraith. Cause like, I don't know how else a ghost would have roamed that far without being one of the roaming ghosts, but a Banshee, Banshee shouldn't have been able to use its ability to roam to me on a different floor anyways. So like, that doesn't make sense. So we definitely want to do a Yokai test. It has yet to do a Yure ability, that's for sure. So we definitely just want to do a Yokai test and see if it finds us during a hunt. You, you already said that, Lana. <laughs> Please. I don't care what some random TikToker said. Uh, 
Come on, ghosty. Oh wait, did I leave my crucifixes over there? Cause like, yeah, it's not roaming to me at all. So I really don't think this can be a banshee. I'm gonna quickly at least take this crucifix with me in case it does try to spawn on top of me. I'll just place this over here. Come on, ghosty. Taking such a long time between hunts as well. So it's either just a stupid, stupid yokai. Oh, hi. Run away. Because I already tried to do a yokai test and it did find me in the bathroom, but maybe I was slightly too close. So let's see. Hello, hello, hello. Can you come here, please? Excuse me. No, you are definitely not a yokai. So is it just a yure that's never done its yure ability? Or are you actually a phantom? Wait, what the fuck? Bro! Bro! That totally looked like phantom. It didn't look like a phantom during the other hunt. What the hell? Bro, what is going on? That was totally phantom blink. Bro. I call nonsense because it definitely didn't have the phantom blink during the, the last hunt. Like the last time we saw it during the hunt when I did the other yokai test, I saw it clear as day. I have so many questions. So I feel like something bugged? It, that was definitely Phantom Blink though. Like it was barely visible. Hmm. -mm. All right, whatever, let's go. Uh, yeah, we ruled out Orbeez because we, we got dots. So we only have one evidence. And since it's dots, we know it can't be a mimic. Like w that explains the weird roam though. That definitely explains it. So that at least makes sense. Cause I was gonna say, it has to be one of those Romy ghosts. So what probably happened is that the phantom roamed to me from a different floor and then just stayed down there. Cause that happens a lot with the roaming ghosts. But like during that first hunt, that did not look like phantom blink. Like, excuse you? That was so weird. Dude, and my game keeps freezing. I think my, my game's just broken. Like it's freezing at least twice per investigation now. I might need to verify some files. Like, things feel like they're not working properly, and I don't know if it's just my files or if Phasmo itself is just fully broken at this point, but oh well. Let's keep going! <laughs> what the fuck, man? I have so many questions. Maybe the computer the game is cold today? Maybe, because, like, yeah, that was... Oh, that was really weird. Anyways, we got Joseph Carey now. We need to witness a ghost event, find evidence with the EMF, uh, and get firelight. We'll see We'll see how many of those we actually do, because like it's taking so long to collect evidence that this is ridiculous. We should probably just turn off all evidence and go straight to just doing zero evidence runs, because that's basically what we're doing anyways. Uh, at least Breaker is right here. This is Sunny Meadows Restricted, so we'll at least not have to do the entire map. Oh, we're already being hunted. Perfect. Okay, no hiding spot there. What do we have? So we can go downstairs. That one's blocked off and that way's blocked off. So Ghost is definitely somewhere downstairs then because he's not in the chapel. Let's see if we can find him. My game's fine. Everything is working as intended. There's nothing wrong with the game. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's funny. I've actually never seen floating books right here before. So I guess case in point, something's up. Oh my god. All right, so that way is blocked though. So Ghost has to be down this wing. All looks entirely normal and right. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. You know, the... The sexy and not money way to f is to focus on the stability and bug fixing. Don't worry about console integration, but, you know, it'd be nice in your perfect world. Right? Like, ugh. I'm so tired of bugs. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Alright, do we have a hiding spot in here? I think when we go all the way down the hallway, uh, there's that one room where you can usually hide behind the chair. Oh, door touch right there. Buckets everywhere. All right, so ghost is probably right there. Oop, 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 oop. Is this the room? Yeah, okay. Uh, 
Come here, ghosty. Okay, not a miling. Where does footsteps... What the hell? The footsteps just stopped? Oh, that was weird. Hey, can you come here by chance? Or, or are you a yokai? Hello? Bro! Okay, I'm suspicious of yokai immediately. Because I feel like he probably should have heard me that there, assuming my game is working properly. Like, that was, that was interesting. Just googled it and it said that uh, if there was going to be a new Nightmare on Elm Street, uh, it would be the original movie, or the origin movie of Kruger, sorry, being tormented as a child himself, but nothing came to fruition, as it was asked back in January of this year. Interesting. Hello? Excuse me! Excuse me! Do you have a moment to talk about our Lord and Savior, Gorfeld? Hello? Bro! Okay, I'm, I, I, I feel like this is probably a yokai. Looked up that TikTok and the comments have various people debunking or referring the original poster to patch 0 0.8 where the dev said during a hunt they have a 6.6 .6 chance each time it flickers to shapeshift. So yeah, not sure where he's getting his info from. Yeah, that's a, that's what I'm going with because like the developers themselves have said how the Obake works and that's not it. So that makes sense. Bro, this has to be a yokai, right? Like, he's not like I'm pretty sure this is his favorite room. Let me go ahead. See if I can see my breath in here. Ew, dirty water. Any breath in here? Is this your favorite room, my guy? Or is that one your favorite room? But like, I was in this room, right? No, 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 it was actually this room. Okay. Or was it that one? Either way, I was damn close to this ghost and he's still not fighting me. So like, bro, I'm pretty sure this has got to be Obake. Still need to witness a ghost event, get EMF and get firelight as well. Okay. What is going on with the footsteps? Am I just like slightly out of range? Are you actually a miling? Is he stuck somewhere? Bro! Maybe you are a miling. He's acting like both a miling and a yokai. He just. He's stuck. <laughs> That's what's happening. He's stuck. He can't get out of his room. That's why the, the, the footsteps keep cutting out. Uh, that's why he's not finding me. The ghost keeps getting stuck on, I believe, these little things. So let's actually stand on the other side. Cause yeah. Ooh, lasagna room. He got grounded, yep. That's what's happening. So I'm like, something's not right here either. So let's try this side and maybe he won't get stuck on that uh, parti- or what are these called? Dividers? Partitions? I don't know what to call them. Come, come this way. Let's see if this works. You gotta be kidding me. So you guys know how I said I wanted a nice chill ghost hunting game day. Um, Phasma was like, ha, 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 fuck you. This is what you get. <laughs> this whole game is broken. I, 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 I'm about to rage quit this. Like, are you kidding me? Are you far? Can you give us a sign? Oh, 
Um, I I actually think I am going to leave the game. I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, check to make sure all my files are good to go because like something's not right. Everything is breaking. Ghosts are not behaving. We're not able to get evidence. Like this is insane. So let me check the integrity of my files. Like this is even for Fasbo. Like this is bad. <laughs> Everything is not working. <laughs> View integrity of game files. Let's just see. Like, I don't know if anyone else is having these same issues or if it's a me problem or if Phasmo itself is just fully broken. I don't know, but let's just check my files real fast. Hey, Mushu, welcome on in. Oh my God. You wrote it wrong. It should be go stuck instead. You gotcha. I gotcha. I gotcha, Jumpa. And thank you for the 200 biddies. I'm, I'm legit like about to just cry from frustration. It has been such a day. Oh, Lordy Lord. Oh, so we'll just take a moment, everyone. Nice deep breaths. Ooh. Ah, everything's fine. When you played, it was so messed up. Oh my god. So yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know what they did. This is all files successfully validated. This is ridiculous. Oh my god. What else should we play? <laughs> I cannot do this. This is, how did they break the game so badly? At least I think my voice chat is working. So that's a positive, but was watching it in earlier who was having photo issues in Fazbo. So it might not be just me. Oh my God. Get, the question is what didn't happen? All right, we're gonna try again. Let's just restart the game and see if we can possibly play like a normal game. Outbreak. That one. At least it is like consistently janky in a way that I can tolerate it. Oh, time for game number three. I was like, yeah, we're gonna try, we're gonna give Phasma one more chance. Bro, bro, I just wanted a chill day. Okay, come on, everyone, you just gotta believe. Clap if you believe. The silence is deafening. Let's try this. We're, we're just going to do a small map. No more large maps. I'm done with that nonsense. Clap, 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 clap. <laughs> uh, but to legitimately answer the question, Zach, uh, we have had the most buggy mess of a game ever, where I swear to God, we had a phantom that didn't show phantom blink the first time that it haunted, that I saw it during the hunt, and then it was acting like a phantom. We have been, it's been impossible to get evidence from the ghosts. Like, we are having such a, a hard time doing anything in this game. And then we were playing in Sunny Meadows. We had floating books. The ghost got stuck in its room and it couldn't come out. Um, what else? Is that all that happened or was there more? Like, it, this has just been a nightmare. You've been hearing it's because of Phasma going console. Why would that break the game, though? Hear me out. Hear me out. If they were trying to get it ready to go to console, that shouldn't be affecting how the game already exists on PC, as far as I am aware. Um, so they're doing something horribly wrong. Hi, ghost. How's it going? Normal speed, I think. Not phantom blink, I think. <laughs> hey, can you come here? Are you a yokai? All right, probably not a yokai. Uh, doesn't look like oni blink either. Definitely getting faster in line of sight. Ma'am, don't kill me, please. Ma'am. Ma'am. Thank you. All right, start the smudge timer. So it'll be maybe 10-ish seconds delayed there. Got the breaker. What cursed possession do we have? Uh, let me quickly, quickly go grab another smudge stick though. Not an Oni confirmed. I already knew that, but we just got uh, the airball event, which Onis cannot do. So we definitely know. Uh, actually, I'll rule out all the ghosts later. We want to go, go back in and make sure to do a proper smudge timer test. We want to make sure it's not a demon. Because a demon can hunt a minute after getting smudged. If it's a problem server side, it doesn't matter which platform you run it on. Hmm. But... 
This wouldn't be a problem with the server because I'm not playing multiplayer. I'm playing solo, which I would assume wouldn't be affected by server issues, right? Because like everything was working fine until they pushed the, the voice chat update and then everything broke. So like they fucked something up. I don't care if it's they're getting ready for console release or not, they broke their game. And instead of trying to fix it, they're still just focusing on trying to release it to console. All right, so definitely can't be a spirit. It was right on the edge of it being able to be a demon though. So I definitely want to do another smudge test, I think. Hi there. How are you? So far, no, uh, actually, no, it definitely, we saw her for like the entirety of that last hunt and there was no shape shifting. So probably not an Obake. Hi, ma'am. Okay, hunts. Oh, I forgot to smudge. Whoopsies. That's fine. Well, wait. <laughs> uh, should I actually go find a hiding spot? Because I only want to use one of my uh, smudge sticks for this next hunt, so we have a, a backup one. So far, it's just seeming like a very normal ghost, unfortunately. What were our objectives? Motion sensor, okay. Um, I can go grab a motion sensor right now. So we're not doing a active smudge test just yet. Sounds like it's in the kitchen area. Maybe living room so we can also take in, actually, yeah, let's just leave that there. Let's take in a crucifix and uh, the motion sensor and I'll take in a headlamp so I can kind of see. See, luckily uh, I got my voice chat working again today, just randomly, like I did nothing different. It's just magically working now. Hi there. How are you? I'm going to smudge right here and hopefully this counts. Hey, take this. Okay, that should have counted. Let's start the smudge timer. Uh, there we go. That, that's how you do it. I didn't need that actually for an, uh, an objective, but that's okay. Let's keep doing that. Uh, where'd my other... Actually, no. I don't want to use this. Hopefully it eats that crucifix again. We'll see. Over the last two or three years, you've been playing Destiny on console with it being a cross-platform game. There have only been a few glitches, which is why it gets a weekly update every Tuesday. Hmm. Okay. When the fix for a tech issue is doing literally nothing. <laughs> like, I don't know what they broke, but it, like, ugh, I'm having so many problems. Hopefully restarting the game at least helps with like the ghost being weird. Oh, hi, Red Room. But like, can you, have you guys noticed this too? Where the ghost does the Red Room and the ghost does not make noise until after the event ends. Have you guys noticed that? It just did it again. I've noticed this a few times over the last couple of weeks where it'll be completely silent until the red lights go away and then you suddenly hear the ghost go, uh, uh, right as it like craps out. And it's like, what is that? What is that? So I keep thinking that I'm getting like silent ghost events and it's really weird. So I think it did that in the last investigation too when we had that red room in Bleasdale. Ghost is scared of red? Maybe. Red's a very, because red does mean scary. So that checks out. Actually, uh, let me get this light back on. So far, it hasn't tried to hunt yet, as far as I can tell. Right? You haven't eaten, yeah, it hasn't eaten that, that again. So pr again, probably not a demon because it's taking longer than a minute and a half to hunt. Oh, hi. <gasps> Please don't hunt in here. Don't you start in my closet. Don't you do it. You bitch, you tried. Nice, nice one. Wait. Oh, was that not a hunt? I saw lights flickering and just assumed it was the start of the hunt. Apparently it was not. Never mind. La 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 la. All right, so we got the motion sensor. We definitely know it can't be spirit because it hunted before three minutes had passed after getting smudged. It's probably not demon because it's taking longer than a minute and a half to hunt again. Uh, it was normal speed, so we can rule out all these ghosts. Uh, it was definitely not Phantom Blink. If it ends up being a Phantom, I'm going to be so mad. <laughs> Wasn't Oni Blink either. Uh, and we did get the air ball event, so we definitely know it's not an Oni. I didn't see any shapeshifting, so probably not Obake. Wasn't throwing a lot, so probably not a Poltergeist. Uh, is there anything else we can say? Probably not yet. Let's go ahead and take our Sandy Pills and start collecting evidence if we can. I'm just faulty wiring. It's fine. It's fine. 
So let's just load on up. So we'll be back at 100% sanity now so we can actually start collecting evidence. Like I said, I believe its favorite room is somewhere over in the kitchen slash dining room slash living room area. You need to figure out exactly which one. I think silent ghost events are pretty cool. You should go all in and just get rid of the audio for those. That would be kind of interesting. And like the red room events would be the perfect one to do that with because the red rooms are very, very obvious. So like I could get behind that. But yeah, I hear throws in here. I don't see any ghost orbs. Let's go ahead and put this down, put that down. Don't accidentally light that. All right, ghosty, give us some evidence quickly, please. Don't be dots again. Oh, hi, singing ghost event. Okay, I'm gonna run now. Yeah, the breaker is off now. Yep, yep, yep. I need to go turn it back on. I feel like Phasma might need to reset the servers. I have no idea. I don't know what the hell they broke, but they need to fix it. This is so stressful. <laughs> like, as someone who has played Phasma consistently for, like, the last two, almost three years now, the fact that it's buggier now than it was when I first started playing says a lot about their code. Jesus. <laughs> You're supposed to be fixing it, not making it worse. Wait, motion sensor just went off in the hallway? Interesting. So it's maybe roaming a little bit, or that is not its favorite room. Let's go ahead and take an EMF. Mm, and actually, yeah, let me go ahead and leave this down because I do have my headlamp on. So I can use that. Let's take a thermometer and glow stick to check for fingerprints. What broke? The game. Everything is broken, as I've been complaining about for the last 20 minutes. Now let's get that back on. I ruled off, oh no, I haven't actually ruled off Jin. There we go. Cause we knew it wasn't Jin cause it, it definitely turned off the breaker and it wasn't getting super fast in line of sight of us from far away. I was like, yeah, I already knew that just cause of how it uh, behaved during the hunts anyways, but I forgot to mark that off. It's looking like the cold spot is in the kitchen, so hopefully this is its favorite room. Oh, hi! Uh, definitely not a shade, I would say, then, because we were at basically 100% sanity and it just did a ghost event. A shade basically has no chance of doing a, a ghost event at that high of sanity, so we're gonna go ahead and rule that off. Ooh, it just touched a door. Uh, quick, where's my glow stick? It's party time. I don't know which door. Uh, let me check this one. Okay. No fingerprints, it looks like. Okay. Uh, technically, yeah, it can be Banshee, so it can be any ghost that we haven't actually ruled off this list yet. Hi there! Singing ghost event, okay. I'm gonna run away now. Bye! So it's done two singing ghost events out of, like, four or five ghost events, though, so it's not a significantly high number of singing ghost events. Reached level 87 yesterday. Nice! Well done! Let's see... Any sign of dots? I swear if it's dots again, I'm going to cry. Like, something is just up with dots, I think. Feels so hard to get dots evidence. Like, Gorio, we weren't even able to see him at all. And the Phantom, it took how long to actually see dots into that? I didn't look to see how long of an investigation that was, but something's off with them. So far, I'm not seeing dots, and I still don't see any ghost orbs, so we can probably rule out Mimic based on that. Let's go ahead and take in a uh, ghost writing book, spirit box. Um, anything else I want? Probably, yeah. Uh, actually, let's do salt first, check for wraith. Cause that's e very easy to rule out. If it steps in the salt, can't be wraith. And then we should probably take in a camera so we can start filling up with photos. Cause if we can get a perfect game, we'll go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and put down the salt first. So we can kind of tell where the ghost actually is. There we go. Let's see if it steps in any of that. We'll go ahead and put the... That's not how you do it. Gotta actually open it. There you go. All right, ghosty. And just pause that because I'm tired of listening to that sound. Oh, okay. Definitely, definitely not a wraith. Where are you? Are you near? Where are you? Can you give me a sign? Where are you? Are you stinky? Are you a poo-poo head? Are you old? Where are you? Where are you? Okay, so far nothing with that. Ooh, more. Ah, nope, I didn't mean to grab that. I meant this because I'm trying to look for 
footsteps. So it's still definitely no ultraviolet, it looks like. So probably definitely not an obake because the likelihood of the obake hiding its fingerprints slash footprints more than once in a row is super, super slim. So we're going to say not, definitely not obake, especially since we didn't see it shapeshift, even after looking at it for a super amount of, super long amount of time during those other Hollands. Okay, just DMF2. Let's see, and Monkey Man, welcome on in. Uh, we are doing a 4.9x custom difficulty, difficulty where we have one evidence turned on, but we're starting with 0% sanity. And then if we can't figure out what the ghost is from the hunting, we take our sanity pills and then try to collect that one evidence, which is not going well. At this point, just turn off all the evidence. It's not worth the time. <laughs> Still no sign of any evidence. Oh, lordy lord. All right. Let me go ahead. Let's go ahead and take in our second crucifix and a candle so we can do an Onryo test. We'll take in a paramic so we can listen for Banshee scream. So far, it does not feel like it's roaming towards me a lot or following me around the map. So it's probably not a Banshee, but it could just be choosing not to do its ability to roam towards us. So kind of keep that in mind. Uh, we should definitely check for freezing temps again. Let me go ahead and throw this down. Because sometimes freezing temps can just be a little bit delayed. So where where's my thermo? Oh, there you are. Get this in here. Make sure it hasn't moved rooms yet. If it has moved rooms, we can... Oh, 0 0.5. That's, that means freezing. That means freezing. If you see anything below one degree Celsius, that means you are going to get freezing temperatures because normal ghosts will not put it below one degree Celsius. Let's go. Let's go. We finally have found evidence for the first time today. So it definitely cannot be a Banshee. So we're probably looking at either Yurei or Onryo. So far, it has not done a Onryo, or sorry, Yurei ability. So that's good to know. So thank God it can't be a Gorio again. Oh man. Does the schedule change or are you just losing it? You're just losing it. Same schedule as always. One, one to four-ish PM mountain time, Monday through Friday. If this is working as it's supposed to. <laughs> Cause for celebration, right? This is ridiculous. Okay, actually, what am I doing in here? I, I think I was just like, my mind was breaking that we were actually able to get some evidence. We definitely want to test for Onryo. Unfortunately, with Yure, it's just like, we just hope it does its ability. So. Oh, do you mean like the, the, the game schedule? Is that what you're talking about, Zach? Not my like time schedule. I mi probably misunderstood what you were asking. Cause yeah, we ended up not playing the bathhouse. If that's what you were talking about. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I I completely forgot that yeah, we, we switched up at least what we were playing today. Yeah, that you meant the game schedule, my bad. Yeah, 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 we, we changed games uh, for reasons. What is, is that a plate? Oh yeah, there's just a plate that got eaten by the carpet. Okay, cool. <laughs> hey, Ghosty, can you actually come and blow out these candles? I'm gonna go ahead and put this one over here. Hopefully it doesn't change rooms on us. Let's make sure I have that. Um, do I have a camera in here yet? I don't. Let's go grab a camera so we can actually get some photos. I was like, yeah, no, you're not losing your mind. I'm losing my mind, but for various reasons. Augie is watching with you. Oh, hi, Augie. How's Augie been doing? Don't think you've ever seen an Onryo ability. Hmm, hopefully, hopefully we'll get you one here. Cause yeah, if this ghost blows out uh, a fire source three times and it immediately tries to hunt, that is the Onryo's ability. So far, it's not blowing out the candles like at all though, which is kind of suspicious that it's not an Onryo cause the Onryo is more likely to burn, blow out candles more often. Hi, how are you? <gasps> Too bad I didn't scroll fast enough. I could have gotten a photo, but that's okay. Kitchen dining room is always weird in Tanglewood. Yeah, oh, there's a blowout. Okay, so there's one. And then the Onryo also cannot eat a crucifix underneath a, a lit fire source. So that counts for candles and lighters slash matches. And then if there's any, so like if it blows this out, it'll also check the area to see if there are any other lit candles within the, within its range. I think I have them far enough away from each other that hopefully that one won't stop this one, but I'm actually not sure, but that sounded like an interaction. So I'm gonna get a photo of this. Wrong door, just delete it. It's fine, it was this door. Yay. <laughs> He's been doing good, still crazy. Whatever he finds, he eats. Yeah, 
That's that's fair. That sounds like a puppy. <laughs> Yoshi does the same. Oh shit! The fuck are you doing over there, bro? Excuse me. Can I get my headlamp off. That was odd. Cause it didn't blow out either of those candles. I feel like that was probably an early hunt unless it's been taking away my sanity without me realizing it. What? It was doing silent Uray abilities. Let's go see what my sanity was. That that felt pretty early cause I've, I've only been hit. Oh, I have been hit by an air ball event, possibly one other event. I'm not sure how many events I've been actually hit by. Let's go see what my sanity is. Bro? Bro. Nah, that was an early hunt. It's gotta be an Onryo. Unless it's like a non-aggressive demon. I will say, I will say, demon is technically still on the list. We ruled it out because it didn't feel super aggressive, but it could be a, like a super shy demon. Uh, it definitely cannot be a Yurei though, because the Yureis cannot hunt above 50% uh, sanity. So we're d definitely looking at either Onryo or Demon, but I feel like a Demon would have hunted before then. So the Onryo can naturally hunt after 60% sanity uh, if there are no ca candles nearby. So the fact that it went to the living room and hunted from there, it was outside of range of the candles. So I think Onryo is our best bet. So I'm probably gonna go with that and get out of here because we don't have any more smudges. We've got done all the objectives. I am nowhere close to getting a perfect game though, but I don't want to die. So let's go. Have I done the weekly? Nah, we're actually, we're saving that for tomorrow because that was what was originally planned on my weekly schedule was that we were doing a, a indie game today and then the weekly challenge tomorrow. So that will be tomorrow. Yep, and that's an Onryo, all right, let's go. Cause yeah, I'm like, that did not feel aggressive enough to be a demon. Nice, 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 nice. Let's uh, let's do an edge field. Uh, I need to go grab some water though. I am very, very parched. Uh, so I'm gonna, we're gonna go ahead and do a quick ad break to number one, get uh, pre-rolls off, number two, to let me get up, stretch my legs. And thank you so much for the follow, I really appreciate it. Uh, but if you do have to sit through those ads, I really appreciate it. Uh, thankfully, you will not be missing any content. I do not do, like, mid-rolls while I am actually playing the game, so that no one misses anything. So I really appreciate you guys sticking through those if you do get the ads. But I will be right back, I gotta go get water, run to the restroom, and then we'll do an edge field. Guys, I can prove it's been a terrible day. I got a smoothie with my lunch and I forgot about it. 
I forgot I had a smoothie. It's just been sitting out on my counter since I had lunch. You know it's a bad day. When you forget you have a delicious smoothie. It's a crime, right? Like, holy crap. At least I got a smoothie, though. It's still kind of cold because it was insulated, so that's nice. I got that. <laughs> but you know things are amiss when even I forget about a smoothie. I have no idea what you're talking about, Robin, to be honest. Okay, my game capture is being weird, but everyone should be back from ads now. Uh, game capture, are you, can you come, come back, baby? There you are! There you are, so let's go ahead and do this edge field. Again, we're doing, uh, one evidence runs, but we're starting with 0% sanity, so we go in and get immediately hunted, so we can rule out any non-normal speed ghost right off the bat. Just found a smoothie, that should be a plus, it's true. I got a smoothie now. I love smoothies. This is why you bought yourself a blender, so you can make your own smoothies. I don't think that would help, like, me remember that I had a smoothie, though. <laughs> That's not the problem here. It was the fact that I had a smoothie, and I forgot it existed. How could I do such a thing? Maybe we should just say this day didn't happen, go to bed, have a nice sleep, and try again. Yeah, exactly. Let's see. And Sophie, welcome on in. I'm doing okay. It's been a day, to say the least. We're struggling, but we're hanging in there. How are you? It's good to see you. We got Kenneth Lewis. We need to escape during a hunt, repel, and cleanse. It's the trifecta of easy objectives when you start with 0% sanity. Let's go. Easy peasy. I'm going to bed. Good night, Seba. Here's to hoping that the sleep will reset the vibes. Here's to hoping. You're pretty good. Had your first day of nursing school. Oh, <gasps> that's so cool. I hope it went well. Oh, let's see. We oh, it is Ouija board. Okay, cool. We can have fun with that. Okay, here it comes. Normal speed. Oh, wait. Was that a gin speed up? That might have been gin. Let me try one more time. Yeah, we got ourselves a gin. So you see how it gets a... Uh, Super fast as soon as it sees me, but then as it gets close to me, it actually slightly slows down. That is the gin speed up. So either it's a gin or it's a mimic mimicking a gin. So we definitely want to get hunted one more time to confirm. Otherwise, we know it's a gin. Okay, I do have a hiding spot up here. Nice. The the one catch is that you do need to make sure that you are a good enough distance away from the gin to actually hear it speed up. Because like I said, if you're too close to it, it slows back down to basically normal speed. So it can be a little bit tricky if you don't get enough distance from it. Well, let's, whoa. Oh, and well, hello there, EMF5 spike. Hello there. So that would actually uh, add up with the gin if we have EMF5 as our one evidence, so. But uh, do keep in mind that a five spike could be caused by a different ghost-like ability. So a mimic could potentially cause a five spike without it actually being EMF5. So definitely just want to get hunted again. Hunt me, baby, one more time. Not the easiest ghost yesterday. Got a poltergeist. It was in the kitchen of Tanglewood. Threw everything in the room. Oh, that's so nice. I feel like it's been so long since I've had a poltergeist. It makes me kind of sad. I love poltergeist. Like, polter bombs are, like, one of the coolest things in the game. Definitely, definitely one of my favorite ghost abilities. I think the the Obake shapeshift, though, is, like, my favorite ghost ability. Like, that one's so cool when you see it. The oh, Pultis are so entertaining to watch them throw everything, right? Yeah, that's still a gin. All right, Tiru. Easy peasy. Run away. Run away. He's coming for me. Run! All right, we're fine. You just love the energy of... F it, I'm throwing everything in this room. Hey, I have that same energy too. I do that a lot. Chase is very sick of it. <laughs> Trying to set up a pulty pile to make sure it wasn't a... Mim Make. 
Sir, was that necessary? Was, 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 was that really necessary? What a bitch. Anyways, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and take some sanity pills so we can go and fill up our journal with some photos. Uh, luckily, we do have a Ouija board that we can just get a whole bunch of interactions off of. I think this ghost is in the upstairs hallway. I'm not positive, but do mimics change ghosts every hunt? As far as I can tell, yes, because they are supposed to change uh, every two to three minutes from what the developers have told us. Um, approximately, I think it varies a little bit. I, I Was it every one? Actually, it might have been one, every one to two minutes. I don't remember the exact time but to this day i have never seen a mimic copying the same ghost during two back-to-back -back hunts like statistically speaking it can probably happen it's just so unlikely that it's probably like never rare or like never going to happen maybe once in a blue moon it'll pick the same ghost twice but i have never seen it happen see the revs slow down and then absolutely zoom at you as your favorite the Pulti Bomb and Obake change are second. I think Hantu Breath is third. Ooh, the Hantu Breath is pretty cool too. Uh, what was I doing? Right, we're getting photos. So let's also take some salt. Mmm, what else? Oh, there's another five spike. Boop. Another good indicator that's probably EMF5 Ghost, which checks out because it's a gin. I'll just take that, ah, whatever. We'll just go do this. You've never seen, got the Hantu breath? Oh, that's too bad, because it's cool. Because yeah, people don't know, if you have the breaker off with a Hantu, uh, it will have its own freezing breath like everywhere on the map, and it's super heckin' cool. All right, where are you actually at, Ghosty? Uh, let's go get a picture. We do need to find the bone, so I'm gonna look around for that real fast, because if you want a perfect game, you do have to find that, unfortunately. Let's see. Once in two to three. Okay, so I was, I was right the first time around. I need to go rewatch my own guide video. Actually, no, I'm remaking all my guide videos, so that's gonna help me remember all the very specific numbers that I had to research for forever. Ooh, you might be actually in this room. There's a lot of items on the ground here. Was that a bone? No, it wasn't. Cause, oh yeah, good time to plug. If people don't know, I do have a, a YouTube channel where I have a whole bunch of guide videos for Phasmophobia. Uh, my ghost guides, unfortunately, are a little bit out of date at this point. They're still like decent starting points, but a lot of things have changed. So I'm in the process of remaking all my ghost guides. So hopefully I'll have those at some point in the near future. What do you meant is that you wouldn't forget that you've got a smoothie when you make your own smoothies. That was a conversation from, uh, what, 10 minutes ago? <laughs> We're back on the smoothies, okay. Uh, I, 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 can, I can promise you that even if I made my own smoothie, I would pour it, put it in a cup, and the same situation would have happened, but that's sure. <laughs> Someone else making the smoothie was never the problem. <laughs> oh, God. I don't see the bone anywhere. Oh, we haven't been down to the basement yet. What just happened with my flashlight? Oh, that was weird. Okay, whatever. You're thinking it says the Yurei is a vengeful ghost. Do you think a great power they can have? Uh, is there is a good chance they break your equipment? Oh, that would be interesting, but also super annoying. Cause like, imagine they like broke your evidence gear. Oh, how would I feel about that? Okay, I didn't see a bone, excuse me. Boney McBonerson. Oh, we could ask the Ouija board. Unfortunately, that would drain my sanity by 30% though, and we don't have any more sanity pills. So let me just double check. It's not not behind a door. It always oh, it's a hand by the piano. Never mind, I found it. Nailed it. Got it. Let's see. Boop. Do I just want to ask questions? Yeah. Oh, hopefully it's actually working this time so we can ask about pickles. <laughs> How many pickles can you fit up your bum? How many pickles can you fit up your butt? There we go. Zero, 
Lame. Lame, ghosty. Uh, do you like pizza? Do you like pizza? Yes, very good. Very good. Uh, am I pretty? Yes. Goodbye. 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 I'm so dead. How many photos do I need? God, this sucks. <laughs> uh. Okay, hunts over. Quickly get some more. That means my sanity's low though. Um, let's see. What else can we ask? Am I insane? Am I insane? Cool. How old are you? How old are you? 21. Ooh, party! Let's go! Um... How did you die? Bitch! All right, that's fine. First death of the day, though. Let's go. Let's go. I got cocky. Should have tried to get all the interaction photos. <laughs> oh, yeah, as soon as it got to the base of the stairs, I could hear it. But my flashlight was already flickering, so it's like, dude, I'm dead. There's no coming back from this. Don't worry, though. I got my three-star ghost photo. That's that's really what I, we cared about, right? That's- that's all we cared about. Have I unlocked anything else yet? No, I haven't. Oh, I hate this lull where you get up to like level... 75 and above and then you don't unlock anything until you're like up above the 90s, I think? Cause like... I guess there is a 82, 79... Ah, uh, no, nah, it's a little bit more spread out than I thought it was. It just feels like it takes so long to get these upper, uh, level items. Jeez Louise. It's, it, nah, it's actually a good spread. I was wrong. Alrighty, let's see. Oh, we haven't done a Willow yet today. Let's do Willow. That's another nice small map. I'm I'm over the large maps for the day. We're no longer doing random because they're so broken. Got Kyle Lancaster. I feel like I've had that name like seven times now in this game. But we need to capture a photo, motion sensor, and repel. Alrighty, let's do this. Let's go see if it's a normal speed ghost or not. So far, we've only had one, like, super speedy ghost. We have that Revenant. I want a Thay or a Maroi. That would be fun. Ooh, or a Diopet. Diopet would be nice. Gens don't count as speedy for me, if I'm being honest. Come into me screaming. Sounds about right. Hi, David. How are you today? Yeah, ghosty, ghosty, ghosty. Okay, no Ouija board. I'm gonna leave that light on so I can loop the ghost if I need to. There ain't no music box. Uh, still no tarot cards. How rude. I just want to do some tarot roulette, man. Let's get this light on, hopefully, before it starts hunting. And see a little bit better. Whoop! There we go. Okay. Not miling, for sure. Good, now that Monday is over. You threw a hanger on the bread. Or on the bed. <laughs> on the bread! No. <laughs> and you broke it. You barely threw it. Oh, that's unfortunate. Hi, Ghosty. How are you? Normal speed, getting faster in line of sight. So far, no shape shifting. Not Oni blink, not phantom blink. Get smudged, nerd. Oh, Hans over. Okay, uh, quick start the smudge timer. So probably a little bit of a. Oh, god damn it! Didn't actually start. So yeah, probably 15 to 20 second delay at that point. That was annoying. And it sounded like it was back here in this room. Is this your favorite room, my little ghosty friend? The weak ass hanger, right? <laughs> Maybe it got like broke or like damaged somehow earlier on. It was just like waiting for the the straw that broke the camel's back, so to speak. Wait, is that the bone right there? Oh yeah, it is. Look, there's a foot. All right, cool. So far, it didn't. It definitely didn't throw a lot either. So probably not a poltergeist. Let's see. Oh my god! 
it teleported uh, the teddy bear, and the teddy bear is doing sick tricks, so that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I've, I've never seen the bear do a headstand like this before, so, you know. It's like the break- oh my god. Did anybody watch, like, the breakdancing competition in the Olympics? That was the funniest shit I've ever seen. <laughs> like, kudos to those dancers. Like, they were super, super talented. But, like, breakdancing belongs on a dance floor with special lights, and I stand by that. The fact that it was, like, evenly lit throughout the audience while the people were having, like, dance battles on the stage was the most awkward thing I have ever seen in my life. Okay, definitely not a spirit. Probably not a demon. Hello, hello, hello? Hello, hello, hello? Okay, came out as soon as I did that, so probably not a yokai. Don't you double back on me. Don't you do it. We're gonna go ahead and smudge. So far, still no sign of shape-shifting. Oh, nope. Rogue, get out of here. Thank you. All right. So yeah, it looks like just a normal ghost. We're gonna go ahead and go take our sanity pills now and see if we can't identify this ghost from other behaviors outside of the hunt or based on evidence. Because so far it just seems very, very normal. So we'll go ahead and rule out all non-normal ghosts. So we definitely know it wasn't fast. We can rule out Moroi, Diogen, Thay, Raiju, Revenant, Jin. Twins, Hauntu. A uh, Hauntu would actually be slow. I shouldn't say fast goes for that one for sure. Because we do have the breaker on, so a Hauntu would actually be very slow. Um, definitely not Phantom Blink, not Oni Blink. Not a Spirit, because I hunted before three minutes had passed. Probably not a Demon, because it took longer than a minute and a half to hunt again. But we'll kind of keep that in the back of our minds, that it could just be like a non-aggressive demon, which are super annoying. Probably not an Obake, because there's no shape-shifting. So now let's go and look for evidence, because if we have ghost orbs, could potentially be a mimic. We also need to capture a photo, motion sensor as well. Okay, that's fine. We'll try to get those at some point. For now, let's focus on trying to get evidence. So far, oh wait, oh my God, it's a ghost orb. Hey, look at that, easy evidence again. So either this is a real ghost orb and that's our one piece of evidence or it's a fake ghost orb with the mimic and we would have either freezing temps, fingerprints or um, spirit box to go with it. We definitely won't have any other type of evidence besides those. Great dancing body popping should have been left in the back in the eighties where it was invented. I wasn't gonna say it, but yeah, <laughs> I agree. <laughs> uh, it just looks so awkward without like being in a club. It was it was something else. But let's definitely check for ghost or um spirit box, fingerprints, and freezing temps in case of mimic. Olympic break dancing is about on the same level as non-cool of you saying that's dope. That's fair. I can honestly say I have not said the phrase that's dope since I was like in the second grade. If I ever say it, please mock me. Like, feel free to mock me. But then again, I'm also the person that didn't last week, I said like, fush sizzle or something like that. Like, I'm not cool, we know this. Where are you? Are you near? Where are you? Can you give me a sign? Where are you? How old are you? Okay, so far, no spirit box. Let's check for freezing temps. Weird how baseball isn't an Olympic sport, but breakdancing is. I'm curious if it's just because like, I'm, as far as I know, baseball is just like an American thing, right? I'm trying to think, do, do any other countries play baseball? As far as I know, they don't. Japan does, mm, okay. I'm just curious if it's more just because uh, baseball is not as widespread as breakdancing, whereas breakdancing, I feel like all countries have that. Maybe not all, but like it was a lot more common than just in America. Cause maybe, maybe it just has to do with that, where it's just not as widespread. 
few Asian countries, but no, not really. Boring AF sport. Get out of here, Swains. Baseball's the one game I like. <laughs> to be fair though, I don't like watching baseball per se. Like you will never catch me watching a baseball game on TV. I just like going to baseball games because they're not super crowded. They're not super loud and obnoxious like football games are, or sorry, for a lot of other countries. What do, wait, no. It's not soccer. I'm talking about the American football. Soccer's fine, uh, but but it's like, it's a really cozy environment. So like going and just like celebrating with like all the other fans, it's just fun. Like the atmosphere of a baseball game is just nice. Cause it's like the sweet spot of being like fun, but not too crazy for me, if that makes sense. So it's probably not even the sport that I like. I just like going out to the baseball games and like, you know, getting a beer and a hot dog, hanging out with other people, just like cheering and having fun. I go for hot dogs. Yes, yeah, there you go. <laughs> You're not wrong. And the beer, all right? Hot dog and beer, let's go. <laughs> right? <laughs> predictable i still have fun with it like I, I i actually used to play baseball so like i do have a little bit of like tie-ins where it's like yeah i got a, i liked it like it was fun it can be entertaining but yeah it's not the most fascinating sport i will give you that but i like it i like it a lot In South Korea, Dominican Republic, Venezuela, Taiwan. Interesting. That's cool. Because, yeah, I was sitting there and I'm like, I don't know of any other countries that actually play baseball. So that's interesting. The other countries have kind of picked it up. Also, you can't tell me that um, A League of Their Own is not one of the best movies you've ever seen. So sitting in a crowd drinking beer and eating hot dogs is a NASCAR thing. Boo! No, it's not. NASCAR is fucking boring. I don't want to watch cars drive around in circles for hours on end. That's so boring. Like, you want to talk about baseball being boring? NASCAR's on its own level. <laughs> oh, ooh, ghosty, 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 ghosty. I don't see any footsteps, so I do not believe this is a mimic. Fantastic, because we've checked for freezing temps, we've checked for uh, spirit box, and we've checked for ultraviolet. We don't have any of those things, so I don't believe this can be a mimic. So I think we have real ghost orbs. Uh, so we're looking at either Banshee, Mare, Yokai, Yurei, or Onryo again. A League of Their Own. I think that's worldwide. Had to Google it. Oh, if you have to Google it, uh, do not count. Uh, I'm talking about the original one with Tom Hanks. They did a remake uh, that like Amazon Prime did like, like last year, two years ago. I can't remember. It was recent. Don't watch that one. It's shit. I'm talking about the OG A League of Their Own with, um, oh, what's the actress's name? She was in Beetlejuice too. I just watched it. I can't think of her name. But Tom Hanks, the one with Tom Hanks, make sure it's that one, because that one is legit. The remake, don't, don't watch it. Yeah, Gina Davis, that's her. She's good, I like her a lot. She's also the mom on what, Stuart Little? She's good, I like her a lot. Uh, let me see, capture photo. I already have a camera in there, so that works. Motion sensor, let's grab that. Uh, so for an on rail, we'll definitely want to check with the candle. What did I think of Beetlejuice 2? Oh, I haven't seen that one. I, I actually watched uh, the original Beetlejuice for the first time, and it was okay. I'm not gonna lie, I would have, <laughs> if they had just taken out Beetlejuice, the character, I would have loved the movie. Um, Beetlejuice himself g gave me the skeevies and I did not enjoy it. <laughs> if it was just like the cute couple trying to get people to leave their house, I'm there for that. I'm not gonna lie. I was not a fan of Beetlejuice as a character. <laughs> uh -uh. Which was kind of part of the point. Like he was interesting, but it's a very interesting film. It was not what I thought it was gonna be at all. That's for sure. And it definitely had moments I really enjoyed. Uh, did I have another salt pile? Oh yeah, it's over here. Let's get that. You just watched the original Beetlejuice on Prime Video last night? That's like, yeah, we, we just watched it on Saturday. What the hell? I, whoops, that's my own fault. I took two of the same pile, my bad. <laughs> I thought I hadn't taken a picture of the last one. Okay, well, okay, I, I fucked up. It's my own fault, it's okay. We can delete photos now, it's okay. I need a lighter though. Apparently I'm not holding it anymore. 
but in a good way, kind of. That's like, yeah, I can't say a lot without like spoiling it for people who haven't seen it. So like it had good moments and then other moments were like, really? Was that, was that necessary? So like, yeah, that's, it wasn't terrible, but it definitely had a lot to, left a lot to be desired in my, my mind, but you can smell the movie if that makes sense. No, that does not make sense. Rosie O'Donnell and Madonna were in it. Oh, yeah, 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 in uh, A League of Their Own. That's right. I forgot they were totally in it. I always forget Madonna's in there. Such a good movie. Now I, now I want to rewatch that. Okay, let's grab this. Get an extra smudge, and we'll take in the second crucifix as well. We'll still, we'll still need a photo. I have not seen Deadpool yet. Nope. <sighs> Probably won't see that when it's in theaters, because I don't care enough to pay an arm and a leg to see it, but I'll eventually see it. Like the first two Deadpools were okay. Again, I didn't love them, but they were they were they were entertaining to see like once or twice. All right, ghosty, give me, give me a sign. Show yourself. Uh, did we find my cursed possession yet? I don't think we had. I still need a picture of the foot. There we go. Because maybe if we have a oh summoning circle is gonna be rough because that's gonna take all of my sanity away. Hmm. first two where I, ah, oh, it's summoning circle, boo. So like that could technically get me a ghost photo, but it costs 80% sanity to use. So that's about it. Honestly, love the new one. See, I've been hearing really good things about it. So hopefully it's decent. Oh, it just blew this out. So if it blows this out three times and then triggers a hunt, it's a very good sign we have an Onryo. Cause the Onryo can actually hunt at any sanity if it does blow out a, a fire source three times. And it does not have to be the same fire source. It can be any fire source. Let's make sure those, whoops, I'm going the wrong way. Let's make sure these are counting, interaction, perfect. Okay, now I need this last one to be the ghost photo though, to get my objective. Didn't miss me before I got done. Nah, we're going, actually, yeah, we're going a little bit past time today. So I'm glad you could come back, Jard. Significantly, significantly better than the first two. Ooh, that's actually really good to hear. Cause like I said, like I, enjoyed the first two. I just didn't love them, so I'm curious to see. I'm curious to see it. So I'll wait until it comes out onto to Disney Plus, renew my Disney Plus subscription, watch it, and then cancel my Disney Plus subscription again. That's been my strategy with Disney for years. <laughs> I refuse to give them my money constantly. All right, Ghosty, come on, blow out the candle again. So who else do we have? So Banshee, we could, oh, there's our second blowout, I believe get a photo off of that. So Banshee would have a chance to roam towards us if we're in a different area. So let me go stand over here and see if it ever comes towards us. Uh, but I also need to keep an eye on this candle. So I'm gonna move this over here to where I can see it. Move this over here as well. All right. Exact same for you for the first two. Enjoy them, but they were like five, fives or six max. Yeah, I would totally agree with that. Not gonna pay to watch a movie in the cinema and waste money buying snacks and sweets and drinks and you can buy the DVD for the same price and eat whatever food you want from the comfort of your home. And that's like, yeah, that's totally fair. Like, I like going to theaters because they usually have like really good popcorn. And I like like the, like if you get a good crowd, it can be a really fun experience. But then at the same time, you run the risk of having that one person that ruins it for everybody because they won't turn off their cell phone. <laughs> And then, yeah, it just costs so much nowadays. On the run with softball again now. Oh, have fun with at the softball game. Shit, I forgot I needed a ghost photo. I just got excited about interactions. <laughs> So unfortunately, with the photo deletion system, you cannot delete three star photos. So like if you make a mistake like that, there's nothing we can do. So we're definitely not getting a perfect game because I ruined our chance to get a ghost photo. Hi, how are you? How are you, little friend? So that was not the ghost roving towards me though. That was just it spawning near me to do a ghost event, which all ghosts can do. So that's not an indicator of Banshee. And now it's walking back to its room supposedly. So it doesn't feel like it's roaming towards me. It doesn't feel like an Onryo either because it definitely did not uh, trigger a hunt after it blew out that candle again. I saw the Barbie movie at the theater and that was a great experience. But for the most part, yeah, home theater experience is much better. 
think big dumb disaster movies are better in theater with the huge screen. Though <gasps> those are interesting. But 90% are fine at home. If you are or if you got a big enough screen at home, it's moot. That's fair. Our TV's tiny, so like a big screen's definitely more fun for like action movies. But then there's also the problem. I again, this is a me. Oh, practice tonight. Gotcha. Not a game yet. Getting ready for the games. Let's go. Um, but I was, what was I saying? My train of thought derailed. Uh oh. Oh yeah, this is just another me problem where I do have like some sensory issues. And so I always find theaters too loud to like the point where it kind of hurts my ears. So I remember as like a kid, for whatever reason, instead of like getting earplugs, my mom would always make us put like um, toilet paper in our ears to like cushion out the sounds that like she didn't want us to go deaf when we were young or whatever. But then as I got older, I was like, bro, I don't even like listening it to it at this volume, so now I got smarter and I bought earbuds, not- I, I don't use toilet paper anymore. <laughs> but, like, those theaters can be so hacking loud, like, it's kind of insane. Alright, this ghost is doing shit. Is it still in this room? I feel like it's probably not a mare, because it has never turned off this light. And, like, a mare would be more likely to turn off the light switch or roam away from a light that has- or roam away from a room that has the lights on. And it hasn't done either of those things, so I think it's probably not a mare based on that. But it's also not acting like a banshee. I ruled out yokai based on the fact that as soon as I talked to it, it came and found us immediately. So I feel like it's probably not a yokai based on that. So what the fuck is this ghost? Is it a yurei that's not doing its ability? Really? Really? Are you a yurei? Wiping my ears? Yeah. <laughs> Great way to keep that wax down, right? Just stick toilet paper in it, it just sucks it right up as it gets formed. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And I just want movie theater popcorn, though. No, no, no. Seriously, what are you, bro? I need you to do something. Like, it is doing squat. I might need to drop down some sandy. We're still pretty high. I feel like it should be doing more than this. Hmm. Alrighty. Alrighty, Rooney. Um, let me go ahead and grab... We don't need the photo camera anymore, so let's grab the paramic and see if he can get a Banshee Scream. Like I said, it doesn't feel like it's roaming towards me in any special way, so I don't think it's a Banshee, but might as well check for a Banshee Scream just in case. Because it's not doing anything to give itself away, which makes me believe it's a Yure. That's just not doing its ability. We'll stand over here again. See if we can get some Whispers. Nice try, David. I looked over at chat immediately when that popped up, and I was like, yeah, I knew it was coming. I just expected it, but thank you for the 50 biddies. Okay, there's a whisper. So if we get, like, four to five whispers and no Banshee Scream, I'll probably fully rule out Banshee, because at that point, the likelihood of getting a Banshee Scream is more likely to happen than not. It's not impossible to get that many whispers and still have it end up being a Banshee, but we'll see. Seeing Oppenheimer and IMAX was $25. Wow. That's expensive. There are a lot of weird sounds happening in my apartment today, and I'm not okay with it. What the hell was that? I think that was coming from outside of my apartment this time, but it's fine. Oppenheimer was a good movie, though. I like that one. Finally did end up seeing it a few weeks back. I am glad I did not see that in theaters, though. That was such a long movie. I had to take several breaks while watching it. <laughs> it was so long. Really good, though. Really, really good. Still, yeah, no roaming towards us. It was almost $40 for your son, hu and husband, and you to see Deadpool and Wolverine. Yikes. What are you, ghosty? I'm gonna go ahead and, like, I'm pretty sure it's still in this room, but I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the light. It did close this at some point. I'm just gonna, just to confirm that it's still doing interactions in there. Let's go back over here. Somehow place assault midair in the doorway and woodwind. Oh yeah, I've seen that happen a couple of times. That's funny when that happens. Assault over here defying gravity. Wants to be in the new Wicked movie. 
Yep, yeah, nope, it's still definitely in there. So it it did not care that the lights were on at all. Hi, how are you? You're gonna try hunting on top of me, aren't you? At least we do still have another uh, smudge stick. Did I have two crucifixes? Yeah, here's one. We're just gonna bring this in here just in case it tries to spawn on top of me. Uh, we don't have an official hiding spot in here, but you can hide behind this desk and it usually works. I have been randomly found here because the ghost can walk all the way back here pretty regularly. So only use that if you have like no other option, but it'll do in a pinch. Okay, two whispers, no banshee scream. I should probably, actually no, I did just get hit by a ghost event, so I should be at like 75 to 70% sanity, if not a little bit lower. So that's a decent amount of sanity. Maybe we should drop a little bit more, get down to like 60% so we can see if it does try to early hunt us. Cause that can tell us that, that it might be Mare or uh, Onryo. Okay, still throwing things over there. And then occasionally we'll run over here and try to get a mare ability, because the mare has a... Oh, hi. Ah, you closed me in. Singing ghost event, all right. Can I get another whisper, please? No? Okay. But the mare has an ability where when you turn on a light switch, it can like immediately shut it back off. Oh my God. Well, that was some creepy whispering. Alrighty. Bro, you're pretty active. <gasps> and I get another whisper. Door touch. Okay, that was still that door over there. So yeah, it doesn't feel like it's roaming towards me at all. So I'm actually going to rule out Banshee just based on that. Because I feel like a Banshee would have roamed to us at least once by now. That was cool. Pairing whisper with the red light, right? That was spooky. I like that one. Oh, hi, Nugget. Hi. Nugget just ran into the room, like, meowing at the top of her lungs. Hi, honey. What's up? Want some love? Let's see if I... There she is. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It just run to me. You fucking asshole. Are you actually a banshee? So that could have been a coincidence, or that was actually a banshee roam. Because it just set off the motion sensor. There was no ghost event, so it had no reason to be, like, over here. So that might have actually been a banshee roam. Oh. Oh, spicy. Come on, give us a banshee scream. Like, if that was the first time the banshee roamed to us, I'm going to be so salty. But keep in mind, it could also have just been, like, the ghost was naturally roaming, and it just happened to come over here. So unless it does it, like, more times... I probably wouldn't fully say it's a banshee yet. So let's go move to a different spot. See if the ghost comes here. Keep in mind the banshee can only roam to you if you are on the same floor as it, unless you are in Point Hope, in which case the banshee can roam to you if you are a floor above or below it, I think. What the? Oh, air ball event. Okay. I was gonna say, was that the ghost doing that or was that air ball? But that's definitely air ball. Okay. Did you guys know the air ball sets off the motion sensor? Huh. I actually wouldn't have thought it would because that's not the ghost physically manifesting. So that was odd. I didn't know that would happen. Hi, ma'am. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, hi. Holy moly. Holy moly is right. And hi, Sky Decay. It's good to see you. How are you today? Ghost, could you stop spawning near me for ghost Hello. events? I'm trying to do a banshee test. Door touch. I don't think that sounded like the double door touch, so that probably was not a URA ability. Hello? I'm gonna run back this way. You good? I'm glad to hear that. I'm doing okay. Hanging in there. It's been a weird day, but that's okay. Banshee would be better if it could hunt randomly during any singing go event. Oh, <gasps> that would actually be really cool. I could get behind that. Pretty sure basements and attics count now as well. Oh yeah, I was getting there, monkey man. I got distracted because I was being attacked by a cat and a ghost. But yeah, uh, so 
when you're on point hope, it can go the floor above you or be below you. And then if it's in a basement or an attic, hypothetically, it can go to the floors either above or below it as well. I have yet to actually see that happen though. So like, I know the developers told their content creators that's how it's supposed to work, but I'm not fully convinced that it actually works because I have never seen a Banshee roam away from a basement or an attic, but it could just be I've gotten bad luck so I, I'm going to keep kind of keeping an eye out for that. But so far, I've never had that happen. And I haven't had a Banshee on Point Hope yet, so I haven't been able to test that either. But that's what the developers told InSim. So relaying information here. So hopefully we have the information correct. Hopefully nothing got like lost in translation, so to speak. So I'm still kind of trying to like test that for myself because I'm like, I have not seen it for myself yet. So proud over here watching kiddo practice and you working with her on her throwing has paid off so much. Oh, that's so happy. I'm glad. Because it, it hasn't roamed to us again. Stop, bro. That's two light blowing events, wasn't it? Oh, no, no, no. No, I'm wrong. The other light blowing event happened on a different investigation. Never mind. Never mind. It was just one. So. Probably doesn't mean anything about mare. Cause I, I don't think it's a mare, but excuse you, got another singing ghost event. Got we've gotten what? Was that the third or fourth whisper? And still no banshee scream. Mm. What are you, you little jerk? Did you go back to your room yet, or are you still in the kitchen? We'll just stay with our crucifix though, because if it does try to hunt, I do have a crucifix underneath me. Unfortunately, now in this room, I'm losing sanity and I don't really want that yet. Actually, let's go see what my sanity is at. Ghosts is going bonkers. They're done with Monday too, right? Like it's a heckin' day. So we are below 50% sanity. So I feel like Onryo is off the table now based on the fact that it hasn't tried to early hunt us and it blew out this candle several times, never tried to initiate a hunt. Like, I, I, I don't know, it, it roamed into that room once, but then hasn't followed us again. So I'm still leaning towards it not being a Banshee. So we're looking at Yokai, Yokai or Yurei. Bro, you suck. Okay, we do still have two more smudge sticks though. So we can try to do a better your, uh, Yokai test. If this is a yo uh, uh, Yurei that has not done its ability, I'm gonna be so salty. Uh, it did turn off the breaker, alrighty. Let's go get that back on. I think that was, yeah, it was in here. So I need to figure out, where do we think would be a good place to, okay, hi. How are you? You're just going crazy with the ghost events. Yeah, now you're following me. I'm gonna go in this room. If it finds me when I'm standing back here talking to it, then it's probably just a hooray. Tomorrow is your Monday, day one of school and no more sleeping in. No, I'm sorry to hear that. Sleeping in is so lovely. Come on. Still has actually, it's odd it hasn't hunted us. Watch it just be a stupid mare. Because a mare, like I said, cannot hunt unless it is, we are below 40% average sanity if the lights are on in its room. If this ends up being a mare, I will be very confused because it has never turned off a light. To be fair, it's never turned on a light either, which a mare cannot do. So technically it hasn't done anything illegal yet, but the fact that it's never turned off a light, it's never roamed away from the light feels very unmarish, but stranger things have happened in this game, that's for sure. 5 a.m. mornings, here you come. Oh, that's too early, bro. Oh, 5 a.m. is too early. I'm lucky if I'm out of bed by like eight in the mornings. I try to get up at around seven, but it never seems to work anymore. And I'm like, shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. As ideally, I get up and take Yoshi on morning walks, but I have not been doing that. In my defense, I haven't been the same since I got COVID. I've been so tired. That's when you get up. Oh, I'm so sorry. Hey, 
I need a crucifix. Quick, go check my sanity. Because I, I thought I heard the burning sound, but I wasn't sure. But yep, sure enough, we, we got a crucifix eaten. Go, 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 go. Let's see what we were at. Because if we were below 40%, could be a very actual good indicator that this might just be a really dumb mare. Are you kidding me? Are you? Are you actually a mare? Bro. Uh, uh. <laughs> if this ends up being a bear, I refuse to play this game any further because this has been the most unmarriage. Like, yeah, I did blow out lights though. So I will give it that. I did do a light blowing event, which mares are more likely to do. But like, it has never turned off a light. It's never roamed away. Did you just kill the breaker? It did. Okay, let's go get that back on. And common misconception is that uh, mares are more likely to turn off the breaker, and that is not true. The only ghost that is more likely to turn off the breaker is the Hauntu. Uh, mares have no special uh, interactions with the breaker. Mares can even turn the breaker back on, which drives me crazy. Hello? Lots of EMF2 in here. Boop? What are you doing out there? Am I crazy or did... No, it's totally out here. What are, what are you doing out here? Are you following me? Interesting. Wait, what? Oh God, air ball. No, any ghost aside from the Hauntu can turn the breaker on. Um... Excuse me? It was doing a whole bunch of EMF2 interactions in the bedroom, but it was setting off the motion sensor out here. Sussy. Sussy, sussy, sussy. Let's keep listening for Banshee scream. Uh, oh, I'm holding two smudges. Apparently the radio's on. People think stay at home moms get to sleep in. Who thinks that? I wanna know what delusional world they're living in. Cause yeah, no, uh-uh. <laughs> <gasps> That's insane to me. Like, it, it, it's insane to me how many people think, like, being a stay-at-home mom is, like, the easiest thing in the world. You're like, oh, but you're st you get to stay at home. It's so nice. And I'm like, bro, that's, like, the hardest job in the world. Like, mad respect stay-at-home moms. Absolute mad respect. Hi, ghosty. Sorry, I was busy. Oh, no need to apologize, Zach. You're good. It still, it doesn't care about the lights. Let me try to get a mare ability. Okay, well, I'm being hunted. Crap, I need to do a yokai test, though. Oh, God. Oh, oh, I'm just dead. Okay, well, I have no idea who this ghost was. I'm gonna say mare. This would be the weirdest mare of my life. I was with the ghost today, like Zoolander. Are they taking crazy pills? I think they are. Like, it's I, like either a weird banshee, maybe weird mare. I don't know. It was a mare. What the hell? Never turned off a light. Never roamed away from the light. Blew out lights once, but like any ghost can do that, especially when we had, I think like eight, 10 ghost events. We had 10 ghost events and only one of them was a light blowing event. So that was not significant to a mare at all. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? It never did. Abilities used was zero in 30 minutes, sure, or 35 minutes. Cool. Cool. Ha <laughs> okay, hi, hi, Kara. Welcome on in. How can I play Fa Phasma in broad daylight? Because this is when I stream. <laughs> I don't control when the sun sets. <laughs> also, it does not need to be dark AF to play it. Because hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. It is currently sunny and I'm playing, so it can be done. It can be done. <laughs> Turn off the sun, I'm sorry. The blinds need to be down. Again, I, blinds are open and I am playing the game. 
Whoa! <laughs> oh my god. And to think, uh, like, of all the weird things to come into a random stranger and say for the first- the first thing you say to me wasn't even hello. You're just complaining about how I like to see. <laughs> if you want to experience a heart attack while playing Phasma for yourself, feel free to do so. But I will choose to be able to see in my room. Ah, yes. My light is going crazy. Did you guys know that my light is back there, like, freaking out? It's reacting to my voice. Apparently, Nugget hit the button on the remote to change the mode. It's not supposed to be doing that. <laughs> Sassy Amber wins. Yeah. <laughs> go, go criticize somebody else. I'm not in the mood today. My bike's been stolen. The game's broken. I'm having a mental heart or mental heart attack. Sorry, I was reading part of that message. A mental breakdown. If you want to have a heart attack, go get it yourself. <laughs> go complain to someone who cares. I'm done for the day. <laughs> uh, it wasn't even meant to be a criticism. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Telling someone it needs to be dark so you can play the game. Uh-huh, sure. Uh -huh. Random funny comment. Absolutely. That's what they all say. Cheers. Anyways, we are going to call it for the day because I'm done. Punch! Welcome on in. It's so good to see you, my friend. How are you? How are you, friend? Oh, we're just about to call it, though. Phasmo has broken my brain today. That was the weirdest mare of my life. And the weirdest phantom. The weirdest Gorio. It was so broken. I do need a hug. <laughs> There's truly no more fix to give. My fucks have all ran dry. I love that song. I love that song. Because, yeah, it's been a day. Thank you for the hug. I appreciate it. Oh, lordy lord. I tell ya. Like, even for Phasmo, this was so incredibly broken. Well, actually, I don't- we don't even know what the one in the- in Sunny Meadows was that got stuck in the- in the room because we just aborted- we should have at least gone out and seen what the ghost type was so we could complain about it better, but... To be fair, Oreos are always broken- No, don't read me now! Hi, Raiders! Welcome on in. Pudge, I love you. I love you so much. Um, fair warning to all the raiders coming in. You are in the midst of like a mental breakdown. <laughs> because Phasmo was the most broken it has ever been playing it today. And I was already in like a funky mood. So now my I'm just like, I am so... Yeah, everything's fine. Nothing is broken. No one's having a mental breakdown. We're all good. I, no one's criticizing me about playing the game during sunlight hours. <laughs> But Carrie, it's good to see you. Evie, welcome on in. It's great to have you. How are you all doing today? Heather, it's good to see you, my friend. Mist, welcome on in. Uh, but to be fair, Gorios are always broken. That is fair. But the other ones, that was weird. And hi, Rami, it's good to- or Rommel, it's good to see you. You were supposed to copy a raid message, but you don't listen to instructions. Fix your That's posture, a mood. You That's definitely a mood. You feel that? You died to another Dodds ghost? Love that? Oh, lovely. I'm so glad that's still in the game. Because, yeah, we, we had a ghost that was in Sunny Meadows that couldn't leave its room. Like, it was physically stuck during the hunt. And we are just like, okay. Like, that was such a weird thing, too. Like, it was in the doorway, but it couldn't leave. Like, it was so weird. And there were floating books. We had a phantom that I swear didn't do phantom blink during one of its hunts. Uh, we had a, a Gorio that never gave us dots after, like, 30 minutes. Uh... What, was it? what else happened? A mare that did not act like a mare at all. Where like, it didn't, never turned off a light. It barely, like, in 10 ghost events, it did one light blowing event and it never roamed away from the lights. Like, it was messed up today. I gotta do at least one round because of the raiders. Yeah, I gotsta. I gotsta. Because we were just about to call it because I'm legitimately about to have a mental breakdown. But it's okay. We'll do a Grafton and we'll try not to cry. Do you need to raid and dash? Okay, sounds good, Punch. It's so good to see you. Thank you so much for the raid.
I will try to take care of your community. We will see. Oh, it's a Larry though. Okay, Larry can't let us down. Larry cannot let us down. We got Larry Roberts. We need to repel, capture photo, and cleanse the area with an incense. So we're playing uh, with our starting sanity at 0%, so we get hunted right off the bat. So we can identify the ghost if it's a fast ghost or slow ghost. Um, but then we do have sanity pills that we can take and one evidence turned on if it ends up being a normal speed ghost. Continuing to play, even though we now know it is forbidden to play this game during the daylight hours. <gasps> Shit, you're right. I can't do it. Ooh, ooh, I'm gonna get cursed. Wait, we played on this today, didn't we? I said we played on Bleasdale, but no, it was a Grafton. Ugh, my brain's just broken. That's right, we already did a Grafton today. Alrighty, where's my ghosty? Ooh. Well, hi there. Nice ghost event, please don't spawn on top of me. Oh, it tried. Good old Larry. Sounds normal speed, unfortunately. Hopefully I have a hiding spot up here. Crap. Go to the, go to the nursery. Wait, Phantom again? Hello? I barely saw that ghost. Where'd he go? Oh my god. It's the phantom coming back to taunt me. It's literally phantom on Grafton again. <laughs> oh my god. This is the same map that we had the phantom that was broken earlier. He's come back and is like, I'm so sorry about earlier. This is what I was, I, what I meant to do the first time. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Because that was barely visible I was run as it was running after us. So that is the phantom blink. So we're looking at either a mimic mimicking a phantom or it's just a phantom. So let's go ahead and get hunted one more time. Uh, we also need to capture a photo. Ooh, that's another good way to confirm that it's a phantom. We can get a photo and the ghost immediately disappears. You heard I was talking poop. That's fair. In, in, in my defense, the poop was deserved because it was nonsense what happened earlier. God. So what room are you actually gonna be in, my friend? Uh, there's the breaker, okay. Had to set the record straight. It's like, li listen, listen, I'm a good ghost. It's not my fault the developers borked the whole game. I'm a good little ghost. <gasps> Aw, there's the good little ghost now. Okay, we do have a hiding spot right there, so that's good. We can use that one for sure. Bad little ghost, actually. Turn off the breaker on me? How dare you? At least the breaker's just right here. Nice and easy peasy. So there is a very good chance this ghost is gonna try and spawn on top of me. Because the phantom likes to follow you around. There he is. It's definitely a phantom. Wait, do I not have another smudge? Oh, crap, I don't. Run! I, I thought I had two smudges. I thought I had two smudges. Just... Close the door, close the door. He can't, he'll never know. He'll never know where I went. It's fine. Hi. You have to go? Okay, Zach, see you. See you later. Have a good rest of your day. Thanks for being here. All right, so yeah, we definitely got a phantom. Question is, where is his actual room, though? So phantoms pose a challenge where it's very hard to figure out what their favorite room actually is. Uh, just because they tend to follow you around a lot. Because the phantoms can roam to you if you're on a different floor from them. So I'm gonna go and take some sanity pulls. Let's go find a bone, try to get some photos, and try to get a perfect game. Fortunately, the ghost photo is gonna be real fun, but we, we got this, I believe in us. We have to end this on a good note, right? And look, the sun went away again, so we're fine. We're allowed to play this game again. Uh, let's grab EMF as well, that'll be useful. Uh, we need a, I wonder what curse possession we have. Cause that'd be useful. Mm, also take in salt so we can get some easy salt. Photos. I just realized I don't actually think we have anything to make for dinner tonight, which is unfortunate. Tarot cards. Dang it, we didn't get tarot cards at all today. Rude. Like tarot cards, as far as like usefulness is concerned, they're absolute garbage, but they're so fun. You never know what's gonna happen with them. So I was kind of hoping for some evil randomness. It's been a while since I've gotten Hangman, so you know, today would have been the perfect day for Hangman. Okay, no Ouija board. Don't see the bone anywhere either. Here, little Mr. Boner. Nothing there. Uh, I should probably turn off that light, cause you know, 
Light management, most important element of any ghost hunting game. <laughs> I will never stop giving a shade about that. Never, ever, ever. All right, nothing there. Right, no bone, okay. Hey, booba. Uh, no monkey paw. You hear the ghost throw out something over here, but is that actually your favorite room? So I was hoping to use the cursed item to confirm the ghost's favorite room, but I have a bad feeling we're gonna get summoning circle, which we could use to get a photo of the ghost, which is one of our objectives. So that could potentially work. Giving shade for a sunlight comet. Touche, <laughs> yes. I love it. <laughs> of course it's summoning circle. Man alive, we've had summoning circle so much today. So we could use that to get a ghost photo, but then we would have no sanity left basically. Uh, but if we do want to use it, we would have to use it basically now. So that's kind of unfortunate. And I, oh, whoops, I still didn't look for the bone up here fully. Should call in Kaz. He's good at, at he's good at the lecky. That is, that is true. That is true. He's very good with the lecky. God, that was such a good game. If anybody likes like really good story-based horror games, Still Wakes the Deep, like, solid 10 out of 10, and I believe it is on Xbox Game Pass. So, I was dumb and I paid for it, even though I have Xbox Game Pass. <laughs> Gonna be taken off. Okay, Nevers, thank you so much for hanging out. I hope you get home safely and have an amazing rest of your day. Where the heck is the bone? Where have I not looked? I feel like I've looked mostly everywhere. Maybe I need to check better back here. Yeah, I actually haven't really looked around the back of the table. So let's check over here. Voice acting was top tier. It really was. And like with someone who plays mostly indie horror games who don't really have a budget for like really good voice acting, if there's even any voice acting, like it was such a good change of pace. Like that was so amazing. And like the monsters were spooky. Gameplay was solid. Like that was a really good game. I don't know where the bone is, so we can't even get a perfect game anyways. Let's just light off a summoning circle then. Alrighty, let's just get our side objectives and call it good, because I don't know where the bone is. Good lord, it got actually really dark. I wonder if we have another storm coming in. Guys, look at how dark and spooky. <laughs> Does this appease the sun haters? Okay, I have one more smudge stick. Fantastic. Um, where'd my matches go? Guys, I dropped the matches. Shit. Shit. It's gonna give us a heart attack. Yes! We got this. I love heart attacks. Do you guys ever do that when you're like kids? Um, we, we would call it heart attacks and you would go and you would like put a whole bunch of heart cutouts on people on people's doors during the night. Uh, and like just make them feel good and we called it heart attacks. I, I I don't know if that was just like a Utah thing, which is definitely could have been, uh, but it was cute. I liked it. You would leave them like little candies as well. Hey, look, a phantom. Amazing. <laughs> Never heard of that. It was pretty fun. I like doing it. All right, let's watch this phantom come and try and kill me. Here he comes. Dude, look at how obvious it is that it's a phantom. Case in point, that that phantom earlier was so broken. Probably just Utah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Utah's special. I still think it should be a more common thing though, because it was just really sweet. Like if someone was having kind of a rough time, you would go and give them a heart attack and leave them some candy or cookies or something like that. Little hearts on the door, just saying that you love them. And like, it was, it was cute. People should do that more often. It was a definitely a more, like it was like a dialed down version of TPing someone, but like in a nice way. <laughs> I, I never did TP anybody. That was something I never participated in because I thought it was mean, so and wasteful, especially now after COVID, we know, we know that the toilet paper is the hot commodity of the of the plague. So <laughs> the action sounds lovely. The name might need some workshopping though. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> what else could you call it? And there we have it. The phantom has redeemed itself. 
The Phantom of Grafton. Less fun than the Phantom of the Opera, but there we go. All right, we'll go ahead and call it here now. This is definitely past time for me to call it and go think about what I need to make for dinner. You're not the ideas guy, you just point out problems and have no helpful solutions. <laughs> Yay, let's go. Of course, Carrie, thank you so much for hanging out. Thanks for all the raiders you hung out with us. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. Uh, I'm glad you guys actually, you got a, like the best behaved game of the entire day. Like I think punch muffin was our solution. We needed punch and muffins in our chat and now the game works, so it's fixed. There we go. There we go. So yeah, hopefully things get better. <laughs> Welcome back. I've got some so tomorrow the plan is we are going to play more Phasmophobia. Oh, I plan on doing the weekly challenge. Hopefully things do work a little bit better. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. But let's go find somebody to raid. And hopefully, like, I should hopefully have uh, my light situation fixed soon maybe like if you're curious why i'm like completely in the dark my light uh the cable got ruined by my dog and i haven't gotten a replacement yet mouse it's good to see you thank you for coming in to say hello i appreciate you you're so lovely let me get you a big old shout out if you guys don't know mighty mouse also a lovely delightful streamer plays a lot of variety of like cozy games i would say is the best description for you but absolutely lovely so go check them out oh you're playing two point hospital nice that's a hilarious game all righty let's go see who is live if anyone else is playing some phasmo seriously non-creepy hugs yeah of course like i appreciate it like i said it's been a day to say the least so thank you guys so much for being here i really appreciate it thanks for hanging out uh and tolerating my um mental breakdowns <laughs> Right? Like, oh man, if it, if I get my lights back on, can you imagine the hate I'm gonna get? Oh man. Oh man. Glass of wine sounds freaking lovely. I thankfully do have my favorite type of wine in the fridge right now, so I think I will take you up on that. Who is playing some Phasmo? Let me see. Oh! Oh, Twitch updated a little bit of its UI, and I do not like it. Why are there these weird symbols on people's faces now? Oh, this is weird. Sorry, I'm getting sidetracked. Surprisingly, not a lot of people I'm following playing Phasmo right now. Interesting. Just not a Phasmo day, apparently. Um. What's, oh, here's someone. Here's someone. Uh, so Ice Cold Brad is currently playing. Uh. Uh, Phasmo. So let's go ahead and raid them. We raided. We've raided them a few times. They're very, very lovely. So let's go and start this raid. There we go. And if you guys are not subscribed, you can use this raid message. If you are subscribed, you can go ahead and use this. I hope everyone has a peaceful and wonderful rest of your day as well. I gotta go and call the police about my bike. So my day is probably still gonna be stressful. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out, Swains. It was great to have you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate it. You too, Tom. Thank you so much for being here. You guys are amazing. I adore each and every one of you. I hope you all have an amazing rest of your day. And hopefully tomorrow, Phasma will behave a little bit better. We'll see how it goes. Um, but then on Wednesday and Thursday, we're starting the next Nancy Drew game. So that's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be Blackmore Manor. So I'm, I have played that one before and it's a really good Nancy Drew game. So hopefully you guys can come and hang out for that. Thank you for being here, David. I really appreciate it. You, uh, don't forget the wine. Of course not, Jard. Of course not. And thank you, Pinkwell, for being here. I really appreciate you. Um, I'm trying to think if I had any other announcements. I don't think I did. So that's just it. We'll be back with some more Phasmo tomorrow. Hopefully things will have calmed down and I'm in a little bit happier mental place. But in my defense, I think mental breakdowns were pretty funny. So, you know. <laughs> Thanks, Hallie. I appreciate it. I'll see you guys all tomorrow. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye.